Stella again. What's going on? Thought it was a new game. Well, unfortunately, I didn't get the new game as promised. So we are back, but as promised, I have got a new schedule and uh, going forward for this week. Uh, so I'm just gonna put that on there now. Hopefully this is not too played. If not, I'll share my screen for a better one. So let me just quickly get the better one up just in case. Let's just quickly see if this will, um, I don't know if it's going to come up later or not. After the NSA, um, I think so. Hopefully, this is not too stretched out or okay. Yeah, it looks okay. So, as you can see, new schedule. So, we got our JRPG night, which is tonight. This is why we're playing Hopper Stella again. It's technically JRPG. Uh, then, tomorrow, we're going to be doing a Hover Night. And then we're going to be on uh, Wednesday. We're doing the action adventure night, which is going to be the new game. So, like I said, we just had to reschedule a few, few things. I, I, I said I got my math wrong. I thought it was today. Um, that's what I thought I was going to get paid. Oops, excuse me, but it's not. It's going to be Wednesday. So, yeah. Then uh, Thursday, we're going to go back to our popular co op multiplayer nights. Um, whether that be you know like dinkum or whatever it might be uh, and then and then we're gonna kind of like repeat ourselves on a, on a thursday back to another jrpg probably gonna be half stilla or it'll be something brand new uh, so we can just kind of get these games finished off also the action adventure the court multiplayer might be games that we've previously played and just haven't played but i haven't completed and uh, 20 on the 27th on that on um that be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday. Uh, so comfy, cozy game night. Uh, something, something like uh, Palia or something like that. Obviously, it might not be Palia because obviously we, we kind of have done that. But we've got plenty of comfy, cozy games. That again, we want to get, uh, want to go back to uh, complete. Uh, we had Harvest Moon, we have uh, Patch Year, we have we are, we are, we are loads of it. We had loads of games that we've not really completed yet and need to go back to Dave the Diver, all that kind of stuff that we would like to go back to and, and, and kind of complete. Uh, and then and then on a, on the Sunday family 
family friendly game night well, that might be kind of like a co-op night again uh, just a bit of fun something that uh, even you guys can uh, interact with as well uh, so this is like what we're on looking at doing uh, now this might it says this week but this might be like the whole schedule for like this month kind of like how it goes and as you can tell it's going to be twitch you kick youtube so this is a schedule no matter what for live streaming and there's all my links down at the bottom as well so as you can see it's all chrono pixel gaming whether you go on to twitch kick or youtube it doesn't really matter but that is going to be the new schedule so like as i said so sorry about um yesterday because i did say it's going to be a new game today i got that com completely uh, wrong but it's going to be uh, back to half still tonight, which is technically a JRPG. So, uh, yeah, no misinformation there. <laughs> uh, and then, like I said, Hobby Night, Act and Adventure Night, which Wednesday should be the new game. Uh, and then Thursday, Co op Multiplayer Night. And then again, JRPG Night. And then another Comfy Cozy. And then a Family Friendly. As I said, these might change over the, over the, the things, but we'll, we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. I said it's hard to keep to a schedule sometimes but i want i want to do something more along this line rather than just saying right we're going to play playing harvestella for the next three days i want to mix it up a little bit so you guys aren't getting just like a bit bored of the same game over and over and over again and also like i said it might bring in new new people as well where they might go i tell you what i just like watching chrono play a hobby game uh, on a tuesday so they know it's on a tuesday and that might be better going forward or you might like the multiplayer co-op games and, and then come in on a Thursday you might like that and so you actually know that that is actually going to be taking place whether it be on Twitch, Kick or YouTube that you can actually come on that specific night and go ah I just want to chill out and that's going to be a comfy cozy night I know, I know that for certain so I think that might be the better way forward but we can only but try these things so yeah thanks for let me just uh, chat that over and um, yeah well we're gonna start our monday night off and start our jp uh jrpg night off with uh, a bit of harvest still we got quite far into it last night we played it for saturday sunday this will be monday now so we're kind of getting like uh, a bit more further into it we might even be able to finish off tonight and start a fresh new jrpg on thursday but we'll see how we go So thank you very much for that. <laughs> Let's get into the game. So yeah, we got really far into this game last night uh, to the point where we think we might be on the end level, the end mission. So we kind of stopped it there because we passed out to be fair. Um, but we really want to be doing over the next stream or two when we're playing JRPGs, whether it be this one or where another one. We want to be really um, concentrating on the side missions more. So we've actually done all the side missions. We want these, these are the kind of side missions. We want to basically get these up as much as we possibly can so we can then do the last one. That we we think is the last one at the four battles to save the world the reason why we think it's the last one is because we have all these characters in that mission and it's like one big final bot boss battle we want to get these level up as much as we possibly can so they give us extra buffs and um, plus it as well it, it you know gives us the chance of the same where we've actually done it so let's see, collect those two silver ores. Like, I don't know whether I can just give them the ores. If I have the ores with me. Excuse me. Oh, no. So, yeah, if I, if I just bring that with me, I don't know if I can just do this. Uh, rather than actually getting them from that specific the place. Let's just see. First, welcome into the stream. But well, it's flashing now. That's interesting. So we might be able to kind of con this. 
by just bringing them some silver and not actually going to the place it wanted me to go to collect it. Let's find out. Hey, thanks for the check in. Much appreciated. Let's see if I can just con him. Yeah, okay. So we've got him in city. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, we can. Yeah, we didn't have to. We didn't have to go to where we wanted to. We just had to bring him that stuff. You play a lot of games I've never heard of before. Yeah, I play a lot of um, different, I would say, indie games and uh, different like games from different genres and stuff like that. Um, I, I don't really go towards like what the what the mainstream streamers play. To be honest with you. I just play what I want to play, what I like to play. Okay, so he's basically just saying he couldn't have uh, done all this crap about me. Yeah, kind of glad you got managed to finish it. I'm doing more and more. Uh, I'm doing that more and more lately when I can play. Yeah, I think it's always good to spread your wings and like I, I know I know like people like make content for their specific genres what they like and that's fine. Um I've always been one that I like all different genres of games. That's why I'm a variety gamer streamer. Um I'm not into one specific genre. It's not you know, I don't like for instance, like I don't just love like let's say World of Warcraft or <laughs> Forza or something like that. You know, I get, I like them games, and I'll play them games, but I, I won't just stick to that one game and just like make loads of content of that one thing. I don't think I could. I think I'd get too bored. I like to, like I said, I've just made a new schedule. He wasn't here, uh, so I'll go over it again in a minute. I'll just finish this mission. I don't think even L01 was there. She might be actually excited because it kind of like, um, in a way, goes back to what we were doing as well. Yeah, I, I think it's good to, like I said, I think I need to change it on Twitch as well because I've not done it. Uh, but I have just made this new schedule literally just before I came on stream. So, <laughs> oh, how good it'll go, I don't know. Uh, it, it depends on schedules. I don't like doing schedules. You can work on my YouTube shorts and I want to make a schedule. Lol. <laughs> uh, Yeah, so let, let me just check out, let me just show you. Um, so we'll just quickly go to this. Uh, and I've just uploaded it on there. So it, hopefully it's good enough quality for you guys to see. But as you can see, this is going to be my new schedule. Uh, for this week, it might be for the whole month. But as you can see, this is what I just literally made up. Like, literally took, <laughs> it took about 20 minutes. Um. So obviously we're doing a JRPG night, that's tonight. Then we're going to do a hobby night, uh, Tuesday, action adventure night, which is going to be uh, Wednesday. Then uh, what Elowin's probably more interested in is uh, on Thursday, co-op multiplayer night is going to co-op multiplayer night is going to be back on. So that might be us playing like Dinkum together or something like that. Uh, and then back to another JRPG night, comfy cozy game night, and then a family friendly game night. And this is going to be all all on twitch kick and youtube all that you know chrono pixel game and uh so and again like the family game night we me and ella we might just like jump on a racing game together again so a lot of these game night uh like especially like, uh, like um friday saturday sunday or sorry wednesday friday saturday or something like that might be like more co-op games more 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 playing like together and stuff like that so we can have a bit more fun because um, I know that since I've been doing um, Pallium, she hasn't streamed a lot. 
uh, so it's like that in mind as well but i hope hopefully this is what what i'm going to be doing going forward um but yeah and uh, thanks for the check-in and mystique I'm just going over what i what i'm doing over there, hopefully the next week um like i said i was going to be starting a new game today but i got my days wrong but when i got paid so i <laughs> so i didn't buy the game but I, I will be playing that on wednesday uh so yeah so yeah i think this is a uh, I, I, what i was saying as well is like i think something like this is more better for me as well because it might bring in fresher people it might also be like for instance you might like just want to see me get jump scared all the time so you might just want to come in on a tuesday and you because you know it's a horror night and chrono get scared <laughs> yeah <laughs> do you know what i mean you might want to come in and go oh they're doing co-op multiplayer on a wednesday so it, I, I think it might be going forward a bit more um easier to digest as well rather than going oh chrono's playing palia for the last three weeks um so yeah it, it's a nice change up something that we can all get into and 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 don't get me wrong the jrpg nights might be the same game until i finish them games but it's something a bit different every single night so yeah so that's got hopefully going forward uh I want to try and stream a lot more. I was on speech on today. Yeah, no. But like I said, them co-op multiplayer games, family-friendly night. That that you know, that would be. Yeah, the all always at usually 10 p.m. Yeah, always usually at 10 p.m. Now, like I said, today was running a little bit late, so yeah. Like I started at half ten. Um that's one of them things. So I need to be that is a schedule. Obviously a schedule for me shouldn't be that hard to keep towards the ten o'clock unless I'm running late, which I do need to be a bit more like I need I need to be like, you know, tweeting these things out and, and stuff like that if I'm gonna be running late and stuff like that. So Yeah, I mean, look, even yacht bots like that. Yeah, you start, you start streams at 11 a.m. on weekends at 10.30. That kind of all needs to be updated. So I wish it was in the mornings more times, um, but at the moment, it's just not. Yeah, thanks for the lurk. I just like planning to be working when you start stepping away for 10 yeah that's fine man and i think for me it's finding the right game as well but if they're but if if they're too easy i'm worried people won't want to watch i'm not too i'm not there yet with hard stuff i don't think you should look at it like that there's lots of people that are like what you what you might perceive as an easy game and there's a lot of people that are like 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 Elden Ring for instance which is like a really hard game like I, I don't think it really matters right I think it matters about the, how you're uh, you you are yourself on, like you know what I mean people I don't think even people even watch you for the content the people watch you for you I really do think that you know I mean yes people like content and people like um you being it maybe a certain way like like sometimes it's you know it it may be not you on camera it may be like obviously you're putting on a show which again a lot of people do that to be that little bit more entertaining um i'm not like that this is what you see is what you get i don't put on no show don't put on any uh you know um any costumes anything like that i, I just sit down play a game commentate on it uh, as much as i can do and and that's and that's me people like that people some some people don't like that you know it is what it is um so there is no right or wrong way of doing things it's just whatever makes you happy in a way and me sitting down uh, and streaming the game that's what actually just makes me happy right you take a seat and listen to uh emo song uh, voices something something else oh 
Oh, I, I didn't even I didn't even take it off this, did I? Sorry. There we go. <laughs> Nobody told me. Alright, anyway, we're back, we're back. Uh, your bush was always on point as always. At least you've had a good look at it now. Some fun. Yes, thank you. After the hear of it, feel free to order what, whatever you like. We will. Then I'll leave you to it. I want to get in the way, so I'll just be over there. Excuse me, bartender. Emo, can I trouble you for a moment of your time? Ah, oh, didn't expect to see you here. Who are you? I don't know all of them either. ML, Crystal. Yeah, I've got my headphones on. Uh, this is the lead representative of the Shatola Fishing Organization. Fishing Organization? You can think of them as the most important of the fishermen in the town. Oh, wow. There's no need to be so formal. But I'm sorry for interrupting you during your time off. That's okay. Been okay, Rap. You seem stiff. Not like you're here for the usual drink and chat. Aha, uh -huh, he's right. Truth is, there's something I'd like to ask of you, Emma. Talk to me. We're organizing a vigil for those who passed on. I was wondering if you might sing for us. Vigil? A vigil? A vigil? A vigil? An event to mourn the damage of loss and life was brought about Lovelei. Really? Oh, I don't know why she's going to do this. As opposed to the upli uh, usual uplifting and high spirited festivals we usually hold, this will be a summer affair to remember those no longer with us, not unlike a funeral. So that's what you plan out. How will we a good fit? Hearing her sing, I couldn't agree more. I was like Emma. Or rather, the diva of Shatola graces us with her voice at the virtual. Uh, visual? Visual. Uh, does that request seem reasonable? Oh, I don't think she. I don't she might not do this. That's the thing. Responsibility. Uh, I, I will sing. Well, everyone who suffered, yes, I'll do it. We're doing the bereaved a great service. Or we'll be in such again tomorrow with details on the event as well as the date. We, we will talk more then. Okay. Anyway, I've intruded enough. Thank you for your eager response, Emma. Uh, visual, yeah? Festival to mourn those who lost to the love line. With all that mess done and dusted, now's probably the best time for it. Sure you've up to it, Emma? Thank you, I'll be okay. I want you to sing for the people of Shatola. Then I'll help in any way I can. I'm here for some other support too. Thank you, Crystal. Look at a lot busier here. <laughs> Bit better. Uh, that's what to my mall tonight. I'm here to enjoy a meal with Crystal. Good point. In that case, I'll get to work on your orders. I'll be right back. Thank you. Okay, we're doing pretty good with these little side missions. I mean, they are little technically side missions. Um, how many? Okay, so there's nothing else in here now. A lot of them we just have to wait, wait. Um, See, right. Just want to leave. Okay, Steen has to say nod step. Egg. So we're gonna wait for the letter. Wait for the letter. Wait for the letter. Okay, so it's these. Two. 
two red leaves. I wonder if I've got that. I wonder if I've just got it. Yep. Okay. Let's go and do that. See you later. I think it's in here. Yep, it's in here. <laughs> yeah, got my headphones back on today. Why you fit? Works perfectly. Uh, how's my cover doing? Now, taking the medicine I prescribed to see how it goes from there. Oh yeah, it wires perfectly long enough. I mean, there's easily enough, enough uh, like to go around where it normally goes, and you know, pl plenty of like you know room to move. There's, you know, that's why I said about three foot. I think two foot would have done it, but it just just in case, like I said, obviously you're moving around and stuff like that. Yeah, that's a three foot one, yeah. So um, so it obviously from here it goes all the way down and around into into the into the USB um like dock if you like. So yeah, it's plenty of space here. it's plenty of space for it. Plenty of space obviously I'm moving around and stuff like that. Yeah. Hey yeah, please go on. All right. Thank you, Doctor Kress. No need to thank me. All is done. Prescribe him some medicine. But I'm just grateful I could get him like that. Really painful for you, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Look, I can't promise I'll cure him, but I can promise that I will do everything in my power to help your brother. Thank you, Doctor. Welcome. Oh, Crystal. Bring me the materials I asked for. I know the materials. Perfect. Thank you. Is that another patient? Oh, that was a relative of a patient. His younger sister, actually. Uh, something wrong? Patient is uh, presenting symptoms of quiet. I was called the other day to perform a checkup. Found sickness had been progressing. Uh, it's just like what happens with my own mum and dad. Look, uh, different physically, but with every day, and uh, lose the, the strength to survive. Nice one. Need to find a cure. You're right. Plans to create a new uh, medical compound using the materials you brought me. Anyway, I'm banking on this one to work. We can do is try. Right. Even disease is what defines my life as a doctor. The patient and his family, and for my own parents too. We'll find that cure. And I'm here to help too. We have a long road ahead of us. Count on you, Crystal. Anyway. Can't afford to waste another second. Uh, let me just quickly check, check. One, two. Yeah, fair. If we've got that settled, then I'm going to go back to my research. Send your letter if there's anything I need. Take care, Crystal. Okay, we're not far off getting it totally up. She doesn't give you any buffs, but there is a few rewards. She's not technically a fighter. Oh, there's a character story as well. Okay. I am actually surprised. 
I don't want to see you doing it. Hey, do you know of a village or settlement uh, here? Let me just quickly... One minute. Gonna do this in a minute. One minute, guys. Sorry about this. I actually just quickly forgot to post all this out, so I'm going to quickly do it now. That way, a lot of people know that we're actually on.
And the last one, sorry about this. Right, there we go. That should be all posted out now. There we go. Brilliant. How about that, guys? Sometimes you just forget something because I literally just made it. So, <laughs> so now it's out there. Why not? Hey, you. Oh, your village. Do you know of a village or settlement there here? Close to leave. I can't say I do. Like that? Uh, maybe. I don't know the area all that well. But I can't say for sure. What do you mean, maybe? You no, know, or don't you? Well, spit it out. I don't know. Well, what I know. I mean, I know what I don't know. I mean, I, I. Okay, that's enough. Crystal. Do you really have nothing better to? Eek. Yeah, I'm not done talking to you. Whatever, I'll just ask somebody else. Hey, you. Me? I can help you. Is there a village or settlement near here? The kind of place you could see people living in? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have no idea. Try not loud. Is there a single human on the star who might know? Please, excuse me, I remember that's somewhere to be. Somewhere to be. Maybe if you just tried being nicer. Tish, I don't have time for nice. Based on this uh, sphere of activity, the next assault might be on a settlement near here. Make no mistake. A lot of people in leave, so they won't won't want to draw attention by attacking it. Must be aiming for a small settlement somewhere nearby. Just need a location, then this will go a lot faster. But here we are. Hey Crystal, you're from wave two, right? Bit of time, Ray. But close enough. I want to speak with Lave Manager. Mayor, sorry. Can you arrange a meeting? Jason, please, Crystal. Uh, Sounds fine. Fine. It's a good chance the Hollows is lurking around here. Monster not much different from Kierkegaard's. But back in our game. Name is what, Amadeus. So that's what you're after. It says, saying Amadeus is my only reason for existing. 
Well, that's you again. I mean to meet with, with me with the mayor. Take back into the mayor's house. Want to know if there's anyone living near the outskirts of Lave? Yes, do it. Do need the exact location. If you know any of any settlements near here, that'd be great help. There might just be, uh, just might be where might be really. Yes, a small hamlet of people, but they don't interact with us here in Lave. Face, I can't really tell you any more than that. Okay. No, oh, thank you for your help. Knowing that it exists uh, at all helps me a great deal. I can find it myself from here. I help you. Clearly need to remind you. Keep your nose out of my business. Cracker, was it? Not like a man with not a lot of time left. Right. Well then, let me give you this. Up at the area, are you sure? By all means, a friend of Crystal is a friend of mine. Thank you. I don't know what that man is up to. I want you to do what you can to help him. He has a grave air about him. Whatever it is, it's dangerous. I'm already on it. Let's be shoving to here. Take care too, Crystal understands. Not getting away this time, Amadeus. So that's another one we're gonna wait for. Rono, hey, how you doing? Let's see. Okay. Uh, okay, so we've got these. Just we've got to wait for letters now. So it's just these two now. Uh, make better sell at the Heaven's Egg. Uh, Mr. Stream this morning on that account, I was late for Lama. Oh yeah, yeah. She did. She did. Uh, she did have a, a little morning stream this morning. I I missed it too. To be honest with you, I was asleep. <laughs> and I'm a mod. <laughs> hey Tommy. Hey, uh, how you doing, Tommy man? Welcome back. Welcome into the stream, everyone. Welcome man. Um, I don't. I don't want to go over things, but obviously you, you've just come in. Uh, we're, we're aiming for a new schedule. I have just posted that out on all of the social media channels. Um, but I'll just quickly, I'll quickly go, I'll quickly go over it. Um, as, as we can see, uh, we, we got, um, so new schedule for this week. Hopefully it's not too blurry. Uh, should be fine. Um, so today, JRPG night, that's what we're playing that right now. Tomorrow, we've got Horror Night. Uh, on Wednesday, we've got Action Adventure Night. Uh, Thursday, Hello Wins are really buzzing because we're back on to our co-op multiplayer nights. Uh, Friday, another JRPG night. It's probably going to be the same game, but who knows. And then Comfy Cozy Game Night and then a family-friendly family, family friendly game night. And this is all going to be on quick YouTube, uh, Twitch, Kick, and YouTube as well. Uh, so that's going to be kind of like the going forward it's always going to be at 10 o'clock so there's no confusion is it going to be morning is it going to be night it's going to be at night time now 10 p.m it's going to be the scheduled time uh, and they're going to be the kind of the kind of the nights that we're going to be doing uh going forward damn every day yeah i stream every day i stream every day unless i'm sick 
Oh, I just need a rest, like I said. But yeah, I stream every day. I have to, I have done there enough since last year, and that and that's another thing, guys. Um, we're, we're slowly coming up to our one year anniversary on Twitch. Slowly, it will be um the 29th this month is our one year anniversary it's not our one year um like um affiliate anniversary because that's going to be in december but it's actually our one year actual anniversary of actually picking up headphone going on a mic and actually start streaming so don't know if i'm gonna do anything special for the 29th or anything like that i, I don't i don't really know i've got anything planned i just might just like i said i might do something i don't know Uh, we, we north step um heaven's sake well north steps a bit closer so we'll do that one first oh my god i thought the stream end <laughs> no um lamal do you guys know each other in person well i live with elowin she's my partner uh, I also know Tomo as well. Um, obviously, we, we've been to a few uh, uh, meetups now in um, in, Man in Manchester. So yeah, I pretty, pretty much know everyone. Yeah, I've been with uh, uh, Elowin or as she's known, Lisa, uh, for the last 17 years. That's married. So, so 18 years uh, in, in on August the 31st. Yeah, and uh, Tomo and I met up. Oh, oh God. A few months back now, isn't it? It's like, what, was it March or... I think it was March the first get, get together, wasn't it? Something like that. It might have been June. I'm not too sure. So not that not that long, really. Like, if you look at it that way. Yeah, I think it was the end of March, yeah. So not that long, to be honest with you. I went. I went, I mean, I wasn't even in LSW at that time. I don't. I don't. I think. I think Tom had just started uh, LSW, so I wasn't. Um, I don't. I don't even started LSW. Obviously, um, that <laughs> literally that night after after I met all you guys in, in Berry, so I wasn't part of any Discord or anything like that. Yeah, I think September's a hard one for a lot of people. Um, it's just where it is, having the money as well, because obviously you, like, I mean, we're probably not, we were going to stay the night, but unfortunately it kind of, like, we thought it was actually on a Friday, and it's and it's not, it's actually on a Thursday, uh, which makes it a little bit more difficult for us with the children. Um, so now we've actually, we're, actually, we're, just, we're still going to come, but we're going to obviously not do the full night. We're just going to stay like a few hours, um, unfortunately. Uh, but I think the main thing in in, um, in format is from around about 7 till 10 anyway. And then after that, it's like more like a party kind of scene uh, where there's going to be a lot, you know, a lot of people, uh, music and stuff like that. As far as I understand, uh, uh, until around about, I think it's like 10 a.m. to 1 a.m something like that it's kind of like the, the the music but not too sure how it actually works but yeah should be fun though oh so you live in uh, new york nice Ten till ten. Uh, they invited me to contact creative panel. We'll be interested in that. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, I are you? Have you got anything planned for that, or are you just gonna like uh, turn up and like? Because that's the thing, isn't it? Being a content creator on a panel, like, are they expecting you to do anything? <laughs> like, have you got anything planned for that, <laughs> or? Cause that'd be suit. I'd be like, oh yeah, it, 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 that's cool that I'm like invited as a content creator. Um, but I wouldn't know what to really do or even what to put down or say. <laughs> I 
Turn up with me t-shirt, make all guests a special treatment, and an interview with a magazine. <laughs> yeah, just turn up, Tom, I'm just like, what? what? I meant to do something. Nah. <laughs> do, do you know what you want to do? You just grab somebody, you just say, hey, you, hey, Chrono, get over here, start doing an interview with me on the block. <laughs> that, that, that's your content. That's what you're doing. You're <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, well, yeah, no, that's 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 that, that's me, panel. Just saying, I'm just interviewing people. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm free sneak stuff, but I gotta pretend I'm not an affiliate. Yeah, nice. Oh, oh, god. Yeah, I wouldn't. I. I, don't, I, I would like the opportunity. I think it's a cool thing to be, like, you know, getting invented for, uh, invited for uh, to be a content creator. Because I think it's like, as well, it's like kind of like a bit of recognition, isn't it? It's like these uh, Chaos Crown Awards. It's a bit of recognition that they, they, they look at you like a content creator. Like, you know what I mean? To be invited as one. Like, so I, I'm not like, idle. I'm all for that. But I, like, I would be like, oh God, what, the, what we're meant to be doing? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I don't think we're going to be allowed to film on there, which is a bit annoying, but I'm going to find out for sure. I think we should be. I mean, we've always been allowed to film in there, um, like, the past couple of times. I know it's a bit different, though, with the timeless, because it's actually it's a convention. Um, and it's more family-based as well, because there's going to be kids there as well. So, you, you know what I mean? Because, like, last time we've gone, is like, 7 o'clock onwards. There's no kids there. So it's all like obviously it's all adults. Um, I don't know. I mean, last couple of times obviously it's just been a Twitch meetup, and they've been like, yeah, go for it, do do whatever you want. Um, this one, this one, yeah, is a little bit different because, like I said, it is, is like actual convention. Um, I'm presuming you should be able to do it as long as you're not, as long as you've got like people's permission or um just in case you know what i mean you could go look i'm just gonna film here if i ever get you do you want me to blur it out or something like that? you could you could go that route uh, and people might just go no it's fine go ahead i think if you're up front and rather than just pulling it out start you know doing this you know what i mean where you know maybe you know i would i would always just like the people around it i'm gonna go like excuse me i'm, I'm gonna be filming in this spot um you know we might get yeah if you don't want to be on the film just tell me now i can blow it out when i when i edit it yeah okay no problem hey, hey xoni uh, how are you thanks for coming in uh, thanks for giving people shelties out as well hello and yeah if you, you guys haven't gone and watched some other one he's an amazing content creator streamer uh amazing guy uh honestly you, you'll be uh amazed at uh, some of the stuff that is on stream and Love catching a mouse on and then photograph things and <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun going over to his stream. So if you haven't already, go over there, give him a follow and watch some of his content. <laughs> and if you can, you try and catch him out too. Oh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess she wants some privacy. <laughs> Bloody hell, these channel redemptions, especially when I'm playing Tarkov. Boss, I mess my shit up. <laughs> yeah, I think it's all right because, like, a lot, a lot of the time you start off just chatting. Let to be fair, so it's it like, like it's still a nuisance because, like, especially like I think, I think, I think we was in your stream and I was like, it's up. Honestly, it took like about an hour to like uh, kind of like get across your point because everyone was just like redeeming shit. So it can, I think it could be an, a little bit, but it's funny. It is funny though as well. So, but I couldn't do it. I could, I couldn't do it. I honestly, you t you ask Ella and um, before I before I became affiliate, I I had the um, it is part of the interaction though. Yeah, exactly. Goodbye. Oh, thanks for that. <laughs> didn't even realize thanks for that yeah it's it, i mean obviously it's it it, it, it is it's fun it is definitely part of the interact i don't think i could do it like um uh, i had the um what was it i can't i can't even remember what it was it was like tangier 
uh, it was like the sound alert. It was before they came became affiliate, and um, and it it was down. You just and honestly, you could just spam it. You could just spam it, and it was so annoying. Uh, and it was Ella Owen that ruined it for everyone. She got her to blame for why I've not got them on my channel because she spammed them. Honestly, constantly that day, it just did my nutting. And I was like, boom, off. Never came back on my channel. <laughs> like, never. Because <laughs> I was like, oh, no, I'm not doing it. No. it. It's just annoying. Uh. Yeah, you have to put a time on some of them. Yeah, I don't blame you, to be honest with you. I really don't blame you. Thanks for telling me I wasn't even live then. I still have my schedule up talking to people. That's the, that's the stream, guys. It's just you looking at my schedule for the next two hours. <laughs> Imagine if it was one of my best performing shows as well. Just, just a schedule up. <laughs> it's gone viral. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, uh, fuck's sake. <laughs> I thought you were just not showing it. Lama. No, no. I don't. <laughs> uh, oh, good hell. Uh, Chastin just got back from MRI with my twin. He's trapped a nerve in his neck. Whoa, that's nasty. That's nasty. I got a couple of years ago, um... <coughs> And it was Ella Owen, and, and, and I will blame her. She was, she was giving. I had, I had like a few, like, like my back was hurting, and uh, so she gave me like a back massage. And I don't know how, and I don't, I don't obviously, I don't think it was here. But anyway, uh, like one of the muscles had like kind of like risen up and inflamed and got stuck in the rib cage. And the amount of honestly, the amount of agony I was in, it was. Like, I had to go to the hospital, and he was like, Ah, oh, God, what? How did this happen? I was like, Ah. Oh, she gave me a back massage. <laughs> like, and it was like, bloody hell, man, this is proper inflamed. Like, how the hell did it get stuck in your ribs? <laughs> so, trust me, I, I know. Uh, uh, it's all about troubling rumor, blah, blah, blah. Apparently, like someone's been going around senselessly attacking people in the nearby village. Uh, there hasn't been any fatalities yet, but the person doing it is exclusive and appears unexpectedly. Ooh. Yeah, how'd you, get, how'd you forget to get checked by a dislocated shoulder? You, so you went in there, <laughs> you, you went in there, and then you, you're like, ah, you get it, your twin's getting an MRI, right. you're just like, ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like dislocated shoulders. Ah, it's not in pain. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, my twins cry like a baby. <laughs> uh, you have aches and pains every day. You can tell we're getting all old. Yeah, Red Panda Docs, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. She calls herself the Shadow Assassin. Oh, isn't that you? Don't tell me. Please, that's not even funny. Let me just put this out there before we continue. The whole thing has nothing to do with me. <laughs> the person is just using my name. Yeah, who would do such a thing? Who would do such a thing? I have no idea. Although, I hope it, that that's all it is. Thing that bothers me the most is that she's not using my name but my likeness as well yeah i've got my headphones fixed as well guys so no more kitty ears for me <laughs> uh who i am that's what she's been in to be fair though the amount of compliments i've had over the last couple of days wearing them kitty ears it's probably a shunt to lure me out i might get the, i might get the male ones i might do but that's impossible they don't know where i am I haven't heard anything from them at all this time. But well, that could, could... What could they want? What could they want now? Any idea what they, what it could be? <laughs> shoulder's fine. It's not the first time it popped out. Yeah, it, 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 if it is, if you think it's dislocated and, you, and it happens all the time, you can easily pop it back in. 
like that that's the thing like a lot you know what i mean because it'll just pop in and pop out with relatively kind of painless because you're used to it obviously there'll still be a bit a bit of pain but it shouldn't be like like you're in agony uh, you're not gonna pass out uh at sea this time are you lamal no i don't well i'm not at sea for one so <laughs> No, in, when you're in a story like this, you can't pass out. So I could leave it here and talk forever. But when you're running around the map, that's when you can pass out. You've only got to like midnight. You got a little bit over that, to be fair. You got about till about 1 a.m. on this game before you literally pass out. But like, you want to try and get back before 12 because then that's when all your stamina runs out. So you can't actually run anywhere either after 12 o'clock. So it, like, yeah, that's the that's the thing about this game. Like, like um so i'm, I'm actually I, I think i'm on to the end mission and the reason why i think that is because all of the team members have joined in to fight this big boss and when i was running through there like i said like because i got there so late in the day i literally passed out like and i was like oh well there's no point in doing it now anyway because i want to level up all these characters before i go back because if it's the end boss and i need all them characters to fight it it's going to be hard Plus, I had no food. I had no nothing. So, at the moment, I'm just doing all these little side missions to get, like, these little extra buffs. Try and get some food and stuff like that. So, we can then go back, um, hopefully, tonight. If not, maybe the next time I play an RPG. Or I think that's, what, Thursday. Uh, so, we'll try and get it done. I'll help. Of course I will. Thank you. Now I'm gonna go away and gather as much information. I'll get back to you as soon as I find out. <coughs> so, so these is what I mean. These are like little side missions. You don't basically do anything. It's more like getting to know the character a little bit more. But you get like a little tiny buff. Like for instance, there we go. We've got a critical hit rate from four to six. You might think, well, that's not a lot, but it all adds up. drop off everything so like you said you see the time up there it's like 11 40 11 50 so in a minute when it gets to 12 o'clock all my stamina will be gone and i'll have just enough time to get back before i pass out if i pass out there you go see look see i was just stopped like stopped running then yeah I'm very sleepy so if you carry on you pass out you'll wake up in your bed you don't die in this game uh, you just wake up in your beds like in the doctor or, or like basically but like the doctor part costs like a thousand like whatever the coins are in this game gorillas they're called like it's, it's really expensive to pass out Oh, we got food. Oh, it is right. This is what we wanted. So food in this game really is more for stamina than anything. Like, it'll, it'll obviously, it'll, it'll help you get, like, HP and stuff like that. But it is, honestly, it's more for stamina than anything else. Just get rid of all this crap. I don't know what I actually want that. What's that? Oh, okay. Right, okay, okay. What have we got? We got two, four poison, four ice, two earth, two water loads of food now 
I mean, we technically could try to try and beat the last boss right now. Because I reckon we've got enough. We've got enough to to try and do it. But, it's, but if it did that now and it is the end of the game, then we can't like do the rest of the missions. I, but I don't know because I've never got this far before in this game. Been really lucky today. Think I mean, I mean, I've been asleep all day to be honest with you. I got up around about gods. It must have been about half five. In the afternoon. Think <laughs> I woke up this morning, like I said, around about seven o'clock. Like, and then I was like, ah, oh, I need, I need to go and get some more sleep. And then, like I said, I don't, I don't wake up till like half five in the afternoon. I found forty pounds, so I pay my water bill on the cheeky mackies. <laughs> Fair dues. So I've no, I you know, I've not found money since I was a kid. To be fair, like, like when I was a kid, I, I used to find money and like, learn enough on a weekly basis. You know, whether it be a couple of quid, you know, most ever found was like fifty quid on, on like on the back of a bus. But as I've gone older, I don't find nothing anymore. Then again, everything's near enough digital now, so it's a lot harder to find cash. How much money have we actually got? Like, we got nothing. Okay, that's fine. So it's what is it? Our gain. Take it easy. Yeah, forty pounds most I've ever found. Yeah. Thank you for coming, Crystal. Oh, look at this one. So we get moving. We need to try and find some clue as to what's going on. Got a feeling we might find something in the heaven's egg. Yeah. You reckon? I I, I think Mackie's is overrated, to be honest with you. I really do. Look, it's a dragon. So they have been coming outside. Again. Should we kill it quickly? I, I mean, back in the day, Mackie's was like, it was it was amazing. Like, and but yeah, KFC, yeah. Like, I really rate KFC. You get you just get a lot more money for your, a lot more food for your money as well, and it's so much nicer. Like Mackie's, honestly, you get a little tiny crappy burger that like doesn't fill you up. <laughs> yeah, you only went to Mackie's as it was close. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I mean, you're hungry. You're hungry. You eat food. Um. Oh, no, if I had my choice, yeah, I'd, I'd go any, anywhere else. Or like, any, like back in the day, like I said, I used to, I used to really rate Mackies and go there all the time. But like I said, nowadays you got, you barely get anything for your money. Uh, I'm not doing anything. I don't suppose uh, it's just popping out for a breath of fresh air. I like how they didn't attack us. Uh, it ignored us. Right, didn't feel any aggression from it at all. Yeah, yeah, Dixie Chicken, K KFC, yeah. I mean, they're basically the same things, near enough. I mean, I, obviously, KFC's probably got the more quality chicken, I would say, than Dixie. Uh, but if there's a Dixie Chicken on your road, on your road, then yeah. And anything, I might feel like being invited uh, to follow it. Uh, what do you think we should do, Crystal? Let's go after it. <clears throat> All right. That leads us to some sort of clue. It's going to be a danger no matter what option we choose. Well, there won't, there wouldn't be any danger if you went home. <laughs> you know, you know, Jane. Uh, let's just close a few of these things down here. Oh. To 
follow it. It looks like the dragon went deep into the heaven's egg. How deep? Like if it if it's really far, then we can just teleport. Yes, he's. So we, what we should do is really we should just teleport. Rather than running. Let's, let's go all the way to the end. But it was deep end, didn't it? Not that far. Kansas chicken. It's not Kansas, it's from Ken's and Didsbury. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell, man. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> yeah, don't get mistaken. He's even... I was about to say, Dad, these, these even attack. Alright. Ninja! I hope ah, you're ah, prepared. Ah, Your judgment ah, day has ah, come. Ah, Piece of cake. I'm highly capable, you know. <coughs> Never been to Kent. We'll have to try. Is it like German Donna? What are you going on? Fucking <laughs> hell, I've never been to it. Okay now man. Isn't it? Oh my god, is that <laughs> He's taking a piss. <laughs> oh my god. Can you imagine if it was called Ken's though? It's Kentucky Fried Chicken. <clears throat> oh Jim and Donna kebab is nice. Don't know, I would never never had it. I think we can isn't this isn't just like a normal Donna kebab? I don't know what's What's so special about the German version? You tell me. It is nice. Okay, there's two confirmations, chat. German Donner is nice. <laughs> well, what's the difference? You get pink wafer. What the fuck? What? What's that? What's a pink wafer? Isn't that like a sweet thing? It's the herbs and spices. Okay, that, that makes more sense than a pink wafer. What the hell's a pink wafer? I like how these are just like standing there. Just die. They just die. <laughs> How'd you get over here? Uh, pink pamper wafers, yeah. I remember them. Unless you had it, you won't understand. You can get a meal box so nice. I hope you're prepared. Oh, okay. Your judgment day has come. I know, I know what a pink, I know about a pink wafer is, but on a doner kebab, that just sounds a bit weird. Like yeah, because that's what I'm thinking. It's a salmon. It's a pink camphor wafer, like the sweet wafers that you get when you're a kid. Like I am gonna clue what you're going on about. I could eat a whole packet to myself. Yeah. I don't I like I said. It is this way. They do chocolate kebabs. Even that sounds a bit weird. Chocolate kebab. Okay. That sounds very, very unusual. I 
Ah, we were here. Okay, okay, we can't kill them. We found them, no, we found them. It's it's nicer than it sounds. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Just like the pink wafer kebab. <laughs> I will, I will, I'll have to Google that one. Pink wafer kebab, what the hell? Oh, what do these Germans eat? Very unusual. Not crystal. It's from the same dragon from before. A lot calmer than the others. Wants to bring us here. <coughs> Excuse me. Imagine a massive ice cream cone filled with wafer chocolate and cream. Yeah, okay. That's where Tilly ever was made. Stop, Crystal. I don't want to think about it. Oh, it is a pink wafer. So nice. Oh, do you know what it is? I reckon it's waffle. So lush. But I don't think it's a wafer. I think it's a waffle. Yeah, I think I so she just showed me a picture and it looks like a big massive waffle. That's 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 being coloured pink. So it looks like a wafer, but I think it's a waffle. Which would make more sense. So I, I don't think it's a wafer. Don't Google blue waffle. <laughs> Stop crystal. I don't want to think about it. Uh, finding the clue of what's going on. So yeah, I think it's just like I said, I think I just think it's like a potato waffle that's been dyed pink and then what they've done is they've just filled that with obviously yeah you know whatever meats and stuff like that and then folded it over like a wrap found the clue on what's going on is our top priority right now don't, don't, yeah yeah everyone don't google blue waffle i learned that the very hard way <laughs> there must be something here that tells us what the dragons are up to Question mark, please. <laughs> Who's me? Yeah. Wait. That voice. Thank you. Good now, go. There's no way. Is that you, Talia? I knew you would come, Sal. Could Talia be here? idea so yeah how, how are you here back then please answer me tell ya you haven't changed at all have you there's so much i want to say but excuse me wait i cannot today what i just wanted to meet you i'm glad i got the chance aren't you to yourself Wait, Celia. Still catch up to her. Let's go home for now. Here we go. Sorry. That could be best surprise. Excuse me. I was deaf in Celia, so I'm mistaken it. But she died in order to put an end to the danger we were in before. Well, how? What the hell is going on? Oh, let's go. Send you a letter again soon. Oh, thanks for coming with me. <laughs> God, I'll open a window in a minute. Okay, we got physical defense and attack up by one. to meet Shrika at the temple in our game. Okay. Excuse <coughs> me.
I don't think there's any point in doing that now because of the time. But what we could do, if we got anything. Excuse me. Side. Oh, you got Black Ops 6. Nice. Is that pre order? I'm guessing that's pre order. Square put cops in there. Can we. <coughs> yeah, got a pre-order on standard edition as an early gift of my cousin. That's nice. She tried, she, hold on. Pre order, early gift. She was slick about it too. She asked me to try and call as if PS5 wasn't taking it. Excuse me. Ow, oh, someone stuck right in my throat there. Open up a window in here as well. It's really hot. <coughs> I swallowed the flies one minute. Mm-hmm. <coughs> <coughs> 
Yeah, I didn't feel, feel like someone had stuck in my throat. Don't know what. Think up, lovelies. Uh, the other one started choking early. I had to pull back two inches and apologize. Fucking <laughs> okay, hell. I like, I was like, what? <laughs> uh, Got some crops begging to be harvested. There's water. Let me go check if I can do some of the water there. Oh, oh, I can. Put them down here then. There we go. Got some loco nuts. I can probably use something here. Oh, we got me honey flowers and me loco nuts. <laughs> Anything here? Yeah. Okay, they're not there yet. That's fine. Right, let's let's. See what we can ship out. We need some money. <laughs> We're not gonna have a lot. Can I redeem any more food? No. Why? We need flour. How many have I got? I've got quite a lot actually, to be fair. Okay. So now we've got a few more of these now. Okay, dropping in creds. Okay, we'll do that one. It's only there. It's only there.
<laughs> Here, have them try this. I made it in pill form, so there's there's a soluble one too that can dissolve in water. That might be easier for him. Thank you so much. Oh, Crystal, do you mind waiting? I have someone with me at the moment. Anyway, about that, give it to your brother and let me know if anything changes. Sure. What's wrong? Yeah, it's okay. Is it okay to keep going on like this? He's got so bad he can't walk on his own. He sleeps all day. He looks pained when he's asleep. <clears throat> Dr. Chris. Be honest, my brother can't be cured. That's the truth, isn't it? Well, that's... Other doctors take one look at him and refuse to help. They say he's gone far, he's too far gone. All I can do is stand by him and watch him suffer. Look, you've been honest with me, so I'll be the same with you. <coughs> the crisis is incurable. There's no recorded example of anyone recovering from it yet. I'm not about to back down. I will fight this disease. You mean that? Trusting Chris and your brother. Okay. Sorry for being so harsh. It's not like I'm a doctor or anything. You're his family. I'd be surprised if you acted any differently. I'll do my utmost to create a cure. So please, wait just a little longer. Okay. Thank you for supporting me there, Crystal. People feel supposed to give up. I put like that really aren't that rare, especially for my family members. <coughs> yeah, it's nothing to do with the quiet. Everyone's the same. We all want to help, but sometimes there's nothing we can do. That's why we have any that's why we have to do everything in our ability to reassure and support them. But do I have what it takes? Nobody's been able to find a cure for this disease yet. You still gotta give it all your all. Thank you, Crystal. Hey, I'm heading off to get some sleep and I'll catch you tomorrow, Colonel. Yeah, man, thanks for jumping on in. Uh, thanks for coming in the chat and stuff. Uh, yeah, have a good night, mate. Good night. I needed to hear that. I'm not that type to give up easily. If there's a solution, then it's the doctor's job to find it. Even so, it's hard when they've been they haven't been a single development mate. All we need is for something small. What's all then? So we find that, my hands are tied. Isn't that any other research? Well, my dad did leave some of his research materials behind, but I already looked through it years ago and didn't find anything new. It's too late for that. What if we read it one more time? I guess it has to be worth trying at anything at this point. Okay, then. I'll go through my parents' findings again and see what I can find. One pair of eyes should be enough. Why don't you go home and get some rest? Wouldn't it be past if I stayed? There's a lot of technical language in there that you wouldn't understand. It's fine. I got this. If I find anything, then I'll let you know. I'll be counting on you to bring me any materials I might need. I'll speak to you later. Okay, we're free of doing air now. Excuse me. Mm.
Alright, so. We need uh, two of them in our game. Uh, Emerald's at Shatola, three of them in our game. Okay, we'll go to Sh Shatola and then we'll do the three in our game. Oh, there's actually another quest there as well. Oh. Let's do the other quest first. I think it might be the, uh, yeah, it's the, it's the, uh, like, house one. Has gone. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. Still have a long way to go with the lighthouse. I don't know how my dad managed to keep this place going for so many years. Uh, no, forget just what I said. I'm done thinking about dad. I found a way to get this place up and running by myself. Why well, don't you take a little break? Thanks for the pasta check. okay i'm fine for now we need to do something what what's gotten you so worried yeah i was a little spot i was like ah, actually a <laughs> uh, fishing boat has gone quite fishing boat has gone missing what has the search started yet Yes, the fishermen are all out in force looking for him. Sometimes I get too comfortable. I do slouch to one side, to be honest with you. Like that, yeah. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the fisherman on that boat is still new to these waters. He probably lost his way to at sea. He doesn't know his way back. Uh, <clears throat> we've been able to help him out as soon as I get the lighthouse back on. Oh, they need help now. The lighthouse. We're a bit fit soon. Just hold on a little bit longer. How will you fix it quick enough? I don't know. I'm the only one who can, so I have to figure something out. Excuse me. Yeah, you. I want to talk to you. Could you come outside, please? Yeah, he's a bit uh, aggressive, isn't he? <laughs> Those kids last night, I wanted to find them and whoop them. <laughs> uh, go ahead, Crystal. Don't worry about me. I'm fine here. Sorry to interrupt you. I wanted to ask you if you could go and find Toga for me. Uh, I thought I'd, he'd be in the tavern, but he wasn't there when I checked. Uh, why would you? Why do you? Well, why do you want me to find Tolga? Two fears. I'm not too sure Rob can fix it all on his own. I think we're gonna need the lighthouse keeper. Hmm. I want you to give him a chance. I know what you mean. I do too. But this is an emergency. We've got to make sure we try every. every we've got to make sure we try every possible avenue to help. <coughs> Thanks. Well then, I'm going to go out to sea to join the search party. I'll leave Tolga to you. Oh, so we... Tolga might buy you at the old lady's house in our game. When I say old lady, she's here in front of Tolga, so that's another one in our game we've got to go to. Right, so that's... that's Like, what is that? Three or four in our game now. So we'll do this little story mission, and then we'll go to our game. I didn't. I mean, when I was on the stream last night, I didn't think it was that bad. I mean, it was. It was. Yeah, you know, it sounded a little bit hypo when I asking uh, asking a lot of things about football, but I don't know. I, I wasn't that long into the stream, so. <laughs> what well, what do I know? Oh, Crystal, you came. I need your advice. You have a moment. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thank you. 
Will you join me in the back room? I already asked the bartender and he said it was fine. I'll go there as soon as you as the song is over. Uh, yeah, what do you want, you want to talk about? It's about that performance, isn't it? Right. The truth is, I don't feel like I've been singing as well as I could be. Uh, oh, okay. Sorry. No two kids from the LSW came into the BC with quack. I dropped some bad, horrid language when I told them to <laughs> shut the F up. It was, what are you going to do about it, you fat? Oh. Yeah. To be honest with you, there's a lot there's a lot of new people in uh, LSW. There's, there's so many people now. Like I don't ha I don't know half of them. To be honest with you, every time I look, there's someone new. Um What? Really? Spam my personal Discord with the C pot porn. Uh and after being banned from LSW on my stream, they made four other accounts and tried to access my stream chat. Oh my god. It's worse than bad at all, when that that's that I've never heard of anything like my ten year old saw it. Oh god, like she she hasn't been banned. She banned them. Oh oh my moderator probably quacked it, didn't he? I would be guessing because he's a mod. Uh, do, they, do you know these people then personally for them to be doing this? Or are they, are they just, just like two random people that just started harassing you? It's pretty bad. Yeah, no. I banned them from my stream and my Discord, but Shy King, Chrissy, and Duchess. I believe got the ones out of LSW, yeah. And it, I mean, I mean, yeah, it's, it's pretty bad when people have to feel like they've got some kind of personal grudge or beef with you. I mean, you know, and and then having to go down this line where they're actually trolling you yeah, and and especially doing stuff like that. That's 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 so wrong. You know, spamming that with like that kind of uh, content as well. It's never really nice. You know, the name calling, the, you know, I mean, yeah, you're a grown woman, you're a strong grown woman, you can, you can handle the name calling, you know what I mean, but, <laughs> you know what I mean, but it's still no need for it, like, you know what I mean, it's everything else. They're under age two, which makes me wonder where their mums are. Probably not giving a shit, I, unfortunately, unfortunately, or they just don't know what their children are getting up to. That that's the that's the problem with social media. That's why there's this big shift in um what I've seen over the last couple of years is good children have access to social media. Because yeah. I some say took a jab at them lol uh said that their dad went out for milk. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god man Burn Burn them <laughs> uh, Well at least he's protecting you That's one thing isn't it Ugh, well, No that, that's it it's, it's disgraceful Yeah my youngest is 10 And her dad when he said To be honest with you my 10 year old is ruthless he re yeah, Some of this crap That comes out of his mouth I'm like how would you even know that like honestly, he, he can proper chastise you. Like honestly, he does it to me all the time. Every time he's mad, every 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 time he's angry, he'll come. He'll so, call me all sorts. And you, how the hell did he even learn that shit? Like honestly, it, it's the worst. But it, it it's social media, it's YouTube, TikTok, it's going to school. It, it's a lot of these combinations of things. How they learn all this crap. You know, they might have heard it. I mean. Don't get me wrong, they might have heard a few swears around the house as well, you know what I mean? Because we're all adults and we do tend to swear, even when the children are there. 
Yeah, that's it. It's really yeah, it got it. God, it's like it's like a totally different person when he's around normal people. It's as good as gold. As soon as they leave, they're like, hey you bitch, get me something to eat. <laughs> like, who the hell are you talking to? <laughs> uh feel it in my chest, lazy clean, but no, that's really bad. I can't believe that. Wait. Yeah, man all raised. Uh, man not all oh, lol i raised them to be nice and soft uh lol they will also be bully bullies lol uh i never i i tell them never to bully anyone but protect those who are and all my oldest uh did get into trouble bullying your kids who was being a dick to everyone yeah i, I it's, it's 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 a thing isn't it like we 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 i mean we technically bring our children to be nice to everyone and uh, be accepting of everyone but we also have told them if someone's bullying you don't fucking take it someone's picking on you don't take it give it straight back if you get in trouble trust me like we'll be straight on, we'll be straight on the phone to you the teachers or whoever it is that's giving you shit i say well hold on a minute they're protecting themselves what do you want them to do stand never being a target no thank you <clears throat> but yeah i like you know we want them to be no you know again you want you want to bring up your children so they're accepting and uh, they're nice people they grow up uh being a nice person but again there has to be there has to be a line where it doesn't cross and it, you know what i mean and and they have to be aware of that as well because that would that you that would be you being a good parent actually telling them no actually what they're doing son or daughter is they're fucking gaslighting you they're bullying you they're taking a piss out yeah and you need to stand up for yourself you know my oldest gives it back uh but he makes it weird for the bully lol he doesn't need to get physical uh he kills them with the words yeah that, that's that's the thing you don't need to be physical you really don't words can hurt so much more they really can <clears throat> but again that there has to be like a, a line for that as well because like even even like i said when I, I tell my kids look yeah protect yourself you know if someone says anything say it to your back but don't go over the top unless they're being over the top and then you match you you match and match them if you like you know what i mean if they're really being like like super like you know like ferocious in what they're saying then you you do that as well you know what's causing that oh yeah i can't believe you you can't believe you had that, that that's really i honestly it's, it's that, that's like really terrible like i mean and i've touched wood here i really will like since i've started streaming i've never had any aggro or anybody calling me anything personal or coming into the chat and giving me shit into the discord anything like that i know it does happen obviously it happens um and you're not the first person that's told me that's happened especially on lsw as well uh which is a shame because lsw is a really nice community and um but you can't monitor everybody and even though it's an 18 plus server now which it never used to be you'll still get these 13 year olds coming in there yeah i, I, I don't blame you first time since 2018 it's happened to me it just threw me for a loop yeah i mean because it, it is you just chill it out and, and you know what i mean in, in discord with quack like you normally do and then some unknowns are coming into the chat you're just thinking they're there to have a, a chat or like watch your content and all that and then all of a sudden they're calling you this 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 and this you know what i mean you're like what the fuck's going on like so yeah I can imagine it definitely fit for you for a loop i think i think if someone came on like uh me like you know if, if someone came into my chat and started doing or calling anything or whatever like that it'd probably shock me because like you know I, I i try to be the nicest person i can be on stream you know what i mean um so as far as i know no one's got anything personal against me but you never know that's the thing you just never ever know you could say something you could do something that just 
you know, people just, like I said, especially nowadays, you know, people just, like, either take you the wrong way or, or they just don't like you for something like you've said or you've done or you're trying to protect yourself, though. So, like I said, they don't like that because they think that they should just be able to walk all over you, which is like, you know, no thank you. You're not doing that. Kids are ruthless online. I heard how they speak online to my oldest, and when we stick up for them, we get cold all sorts. Yeah, I feel, like I said, it, online's a lot, a lot. Like, like you know, we used to get this in school in real life, so it's not nothing new. Like, this is definitely not nothing new. Don't get me wrong, but I, th I think nowadays with the social media, it's a lot more easier to do. Because, like, back in the day, you had to go to school to get bullied. Or you had to go to school to get name-called or something like that. So, um, you know what I mean? And, and and once you went, you know, usually, usually, not all the time, but usually once you went home, it stopped. That was it. You had that little break until you went back into school. And, you know, you seen that bully again or whatever. And not very, very rarely did it follow you home. Now, sometimes it did. Sometimes, you know... People might have to get involved, like your mums and dads, police or whatever. But it very, very rarely. In my experience. Nowadays, you go into school, you might get bullied, you might get name called or whatever. You go home, and then you've got this little thing next to you going beep, 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 beep. Uh, and, like, it, it's still people, you know, calling you this, telling you to do this, you know. It, 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 it never stops now so it is really hard i think i'm such a chill mama lol most of my kids friends found me a cool mum because i game a stream and of course i let them watch things the parents don't uh some kids just don't have it don't ha don't have that it seems it makes me sad because they don't have a parent that, that cares i don't i mean i mean i agree with you in some respects like we're that we're kind of like that we are that kind of like chill people that like like we get we let our kids get away with a lot of stuff that our mums and dads wouldn't and it's that's the reason why because our mums and dads wasn't they were very very strict um but i mean it depends on the you know it depends on the parents just because they won't what let them watch certain content or won't them access them it, it you know it doesn't it doesn't mean that they don't care it just you know they've just got a different way of wanting to bring up the children and you know it is what it is no, but I can I completely understand, like you said, you know, when I was younger, I wasn't allowed to watch anything that was like over the age of like, you know, 16 plus for a long, a long time. And I'd, I'd, I would get all my friends going, oh, did you see the new Freddy Krueger movie or did you watch the new Chucky? And I'm like, no, <laughs> no, I didn't. And they'd get bullied for all of it. I'd get, you know, oh, your mum and dad, uh, you know what I mean? Oh, blah, blah, blah. And I'd be like, oh, and, and like, you know what I mean? And I'd be like, oh, to me, mum and dad, why can't I watch this? Because you're not old enough. Well, they are. Their mums and dads let them watch them and said, well, we don't care. We're not your, we're not their mum and dads. And we, and we, and we want you to be brought up in the same way. So, yeah, I mean, you've got to respect that message in a way. Um, that's, that's what they wanted. You know, there's not a lot I could have done. They did relax it after when I when I started going to high school a bit. You know what I mean? And it was and it was a bit. I was a lot, obviously showing a lot more maturity. Uh, so they was like, ah, well, okay, but well, yes, you're not the age, but we'll we'll let you watch this. We'll let you watch that. So you know what I mean? Uh, so they did get a little bit more. So I think I think it depends on a the child, a the situation and the parents of course and you know again it depends on like i said a lot, a lot of people you know um depends on how they get how they've been brought up as well but I, again there's no right or wrong way about bringing up your children in, in a way there's no, no one gives you a manual you, you can be the, the 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 cool person that lets them get away with a lot of stuff uh, and you can be the strict parent that doesn't. Again, there's no right or wrong way. Um, it, that's your way. Whatever works for you, I say do. Um, again, now, does that create issues with the children? It probably does. It probably does. And it doesn't matter which way you go. Because children are going to have issues. Just like adults have issues. It's the truth. But I think if they're more 
if they can relate to you and talk to you and get along with you more and, and and they respect that yes you're a parent but they can see you more of as a friend it's a lot easier to communicate with them yeah lol my mum hated horror movies she didn't know until i was 17 that i'd been watching them since i was eight, since I was eight. <laughs> sleepovers at friends houses with their kids yeah it's such a weird kid i was such a weird kid growing up i was always being bullied i always hid and now i'm kind of in between cool but still expect them to do their chores and do their homework yeah i mean <clears throat> i i i was like i was a lot different than most people as well because my family were really poor like and a lot of, a lot of the well i mean and i don't know if, if it was just me because obviously it just it just seemed like it was me if that makes more sense because like how when i grow when i grew up like i said we didn't have a lot of stuff we didn't and we stay stay you know we, we literally had the clothes on our back and food on our table and there was no money for uh, luxuries or anything like this i used to go in school and you know people would be wearing you know like nike and stuff like this and i'd have some no name trainers and no name this no name that it was the cheapest of the cheapest it really was you know what i mean but at the end of the day they did a job so you just get like you know kind of like bullied with that and stuff like that but like i was very popular with um girls to be honest with you um so they used to, they used to look out for me <laughs> like what the hell are you bullying them for oh like, i didn't even know what the hell was going on i only knew when i was old enough that a lot of them fancied me because they thought i was cute like, i didn't even know <laughs> it was just oblivious to me so <laughs> i was like why didn't no one tell me <laughs> So, yeah, it was funny. Uh, but yeah, we was expected to do chores and stuff like that. We, we, I mean, at, at, at the time, like I said, my mum and dad, well, my mum worked two jobs. My my dad was a long distance lorry driver, so you know we didn't really, you know, they were out of the house all the time. Um, when I came when I came home from school, like I said, obviously we we we'd have to do chores. And uh, sometimes, like I said, most of the time, I said, as I got all day, you'd have to like cook for my sister and um, help her in the mornings and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it is one of them. But, you know, it, 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 it made me the person that I am today. Yeah. Nah, we, didn't, we didn't even have a sticker chart. We were that poor. <laughs> <laughs> we had a chart when there had no stickers on it he just marked it off <laughs> oh god but yeah stars chart sticker chart they're the way to go definitely get that i got a job at 15 just so i could get the clothes i wanted i was in i was in the emo goth kids because we were all that weird uh still love shakespeare and poe but other than that we didn't have much much mostly went to my dad's racing yeah i get it uh, oh i love that idea yeah uh, you save all your money and wait for your brothers and sisters to spend all theirs before i did <laughs> no that's like yeah you spent all your money did you <laughs> well i haven't uh i mean like i said we we didn't get a lot of money i, I like for all, for all our chores each week we got 50 pence which is like nah, it's nothing it's nothing like honestly nowadays it's nothing anyway but back in the back in them days and because obviously I'm, I'm a lot older uh we used to be able to go to the like this uh the sweet shop and we used to get like you know God, oh, honestly for 50 pence we could get so many penny sweets you know what i mean what 50 penny sweets so you, you think about like a big bag of 50 sweets like you know what i mean like I, I you'd be there all day. I'd be like, oh, I'll have one of them. 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 <laughs> They're like they hated me every time I came in every week. I said, it's you again, is it? Yeah. What do you want this time? I'll have one of them. I one of them. And you'd have to literally like you know fifty, 50 goddamn sweets. You know what I mean? Every goddamn time. There's no wonder they got away with pick and mixes. <laughs> like that, dude. Uh yeah five pound was a lot of money to be honest with you yeah 
Yeah. I bet. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't know about I, I, obviously your area, but we, we've, we've got some um, like locally, not far, which obviously where we do the Twitch meets up, uh, and you, just, and you pay, I think it's like twenty, thirty pounds, and but that's for the whole day, so all of the arcades actually in there are totally for free, and you've got four floors of it, you got literally four floors of it, um, so it's like it, it's absolutely massive. Hmm. You're not allowed near the plush machines. <laughs> you get addicted to them as well, I'm guessing. I keep thinking, what can I do? The, the amount of money oh, you always win, I was cut off as a kid. No way. You'd think they'd want you to go, or you're always winning. Go on, send her, send her. Yeah, they, they, they are, they are, like, I mean, to be honest with you, you think you're getting a bargain by winning a plushie, uh, but technically, they, you know, they're, they're really, they're, you know, unless they're, like, really, really big ones, like I said, they're, they're worth next to nothing. Uh, we went to the bingo hall, my mum would give me, like, $5, and I'd come back with 10 stuffies. <laughs> uh you know, where the hell did you get all them from? That machine. <laughs> what, you want all them? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the hell. See, if that, if, did you know what? If that was my dad, he'd be taking me down to the proper arcades, if you like. Bloody, uh, getting me on the bandits. Right, you can, if you've won that much, you can win with me. That's what my dad would be like. Uh, I did win one that uh, a girl was trying so hard for lol so i gave it to her that's nice uh we have we done all now in here? yeah okay we've done all in here what well, uh, is it our game it is our game you can be nice sometimes i'm pretty sure you're nice all the time <laughs> Used to wait till the other kids are adults uh, being on them so you could go on them and win yeah that's the thing isn't it you you wait for somebody to load it up as they call it load it up and then they go because they gutted that they sent all the money not won anything and then you go on them you put like a dollar or a pound in and you're like jackpot <laughs> like what i just filled up that machine yeah you certainly did <laughs> uh Crystal, you're becoming a fun in my sides. Gonna fight Amadeus? What does it matter? It's none of your business either way. Uh -huh. Yeah, you let said our contract was void. Yeah, that's not. I meant what I wrote. Is there anything else? Uh, fight Amadeus together. I'll sing that old tune. Don't make me say it again. I will fight Amadeus alone. I'll get my revenge, and I won't let anyone stand in my way. All right, moody bollocks. You don't want me help? What away? Brack is ready to throw his life away, fight Amadeus. But where could that beast be hiding? Oh, yeah. Let's just look at his documents that he just left around here. You know what I mean? All conveniently and stuff. This is him out of the settlement of Mount Wave. Circle drawn over the forest on the west side of the north step. Yeah. Maybe I'll find him there. Yeah. Maybe. Find the forest on the west side of the bridge to, to the north step. Uh, I think I know where it is, but I'm not too familiar with the location. But... Uh, so that's a fight. Okay, we'll just do these quickly then. And then we'll, and then we'll go do that. This way? No, it's this way. Uh, 
And what are we going to do? Quest ongoing, character story. Okay. Excuse me. Thanks for coming, Crystal. So, like I said in the letter, those incidents are occurring in the capital now as well. Victims were injured, but nothing life threatening yet as of yet. So, at least there were no casualties. Yes, thank goodness. But we now, but we can't be complacent. The attacker might still be lurking somewhere in the capital. Let's try the temple first and ask them about the incidents. Question mark. That's rather uncouth way of gathering information, wouldn't you say? Who's that? Wait, I know that voice. So you're still alive then, Miss Shadow Assassin. Or rather, Estina. Rosny? Is that you? Who's that? I am Rosny. One of Estina's colleagues. No, you're not. Stop it, Rosny. I'm not one of you anymore. Oh, that's right. You left that organization. So what are you doing in a place like this? Me? The hell was that? Doesn't matter. That's not what I came for. Then what did you what did you come here for, Rosney? Well, that's obvious. <clears throat> You're the only one going around calling yourself a shadow assassin, aren't you? Excuse me? Isn't that my line? Last time I checked, you you were the shadow assassin. You mean it's not you who those attacks win the organization is doing? No, we have nothing to do with it. Like <laughs> I'm searching for them attacking myself. Yeah. You expect me to believe that? Yeah, it's a bit sus, isn't it? It's up to you what you want to believe. I have no intention of fighting with you. Uh, so, you're on our side? I get it. I wouldn't trust me either if I was in your position. So, I'll leave it as that. Wait, Rosny. Yeah, do you want to go after her? Nah, let's leave it. We won't be able to catch her up now. Anyway, why she's only just there, you'll probably still see her walk on away. <laughs> no, she's too far. She's too far, guys. Sorry, Crystal. Let's take a break from our search for now. Do you have a moment to talk and said? I feel like I should probably tell you a bit more about my past. The band of assassins I used to belong to. Uh, if we really need to. Thank. Go on, then. Love all he is. They used to call us the dealers of death. We were involved in all kinds of disputes, political assassinations, family feuds, you name it. There's always a hundred of silent wars going on in the world that you'll never hear about. When people don't want to get their hands dirty, they call on a group like ours to do it for them. We called anyone for the right price. I live by the motto, never get caught. If no one saw you do it, then it wasn't you. That's the kind of people we were. Heartless killers. Dealers of death. Did you end up with them? It's the only way of life I ever knew. By the time I was old enough to understand, I was already in too deep. A lot of other members fell into it the same way I did. Rosny is one of them. We're about the same age, so we used to work a lot together. We grew up taking lives for a living. So you mentioned you left. I did. I betrayed the others. One day I realized I couldn't do it anymore. That's the day I decided to leave. Well, you know the rest. Well, you know about my past. As much as I'd like to, I can't read it. I can't like it didn't happen. So, what now? I don't know. But now that I'm close up with this, close up with them again, I can't just go back to normal. Sorry, Crystal. I just need some time to process all of this. I need to figure out what to do next. Yeah, don't run into any decisions. Yeah, rush into any decisions. I won't. I'll back to you again once I've calmed down.
This is the old woman. I think it's the old woman. Uh, hello, old dear. I remember you. What's the matter? Mm. Olga being here? <coughs> yes, he was just here. From the looks of him, he still hasn't moved on. Why are you looking for him anyway? I mean, the situation to the old lady. Oh, if I knew, I could have stopped him before we left. Uh, there's no way for you to know. I don't have gone too far. I'll, look, I'll have a look around our game. It's probably still here somewhere. I'll do what I can too. Oh, there he is. Okay, I finally found you. You again. What you want now? Rock needs your help. Rock? Tell him about the missing bolts. That's why you came to get me? Rock is out there all trying to go by himself. Listen, don't make me repeat myself. I'm not going to go back to the lighthouse. There's enough incident might happen. Yeah, I don't want that happening again. I'm scared that someone else might lose their life because of the light I shone for them. I don't live with that. I'm not strong light bug. I can't just pick myself that easily and face the lighthouse again. He's about to go through the same thing. Oh, you grow up, Tolga. I have to look for Tolga too. She did say that. I couldn't just sit at home after what you told me. I have, I have to do something. So I came out to find them. I couldn't get through to you last time, Tolga. Well, just let me say this. You are not alone. Your son is a good boy and he's there for you. If it's too scary to go back on your own, the light's inside of you. The light inside of you has gone out. And move forward together with your son by your side. Your little light of bravery will surely light up again. I believe in you. But Dad, it's time to move on. Even if the fisherman's family doesn't want to see the light go out. That's their beacon of hope. Come on, Dad, I'm right here with you. Let's give them back their beacon of hope. <clears throat> Oh, guy. I'm just still waiting for you. Move forward together. I'm going to go back to the Shitola. Well, I tried. All I've done. I've done all I can. Can I leave the rest with you, dear? Sure, thank you, man. All right. Let's... I'm mad where we need the earphones again because they are so much a little bit heavier than uh, them, obviously, um, uh, kitty cat ones. Oh me, oh my, that's quite the pickle. <clears throat> what heaven should I do? I should just talk onto the wharf or oh Crystal, what can I do for you today? Yeah, they do. Raise has a pink gaming chair. Yeah, yeah they do. <laughs> you look worried about something. It's how something was troubling you. Yeah, is that a really nice chair as well? Oh my, that's obvious, was it? That's a little embarrassing. But you're alright, a thief came to me, uh, and I've been thinking about... I, 
I feel like before, I mean, t technically, you have got a new chair. Um, like, like you know, you just like you only got it like a couple of weeks ago. I mean, I know it's not like one that you bought yourself, but it technically, it's a chair. Well, the thing is, the the whole room has to be done before I buy a chair. The chair's pretty. But for a brand new chair, it costs the same amount as actually doing the whole room. And I'd rather do the whole room first before a chair. I think it's priorities. I've wanted this room done for the last two years. So, <laughs> so, yeah, I think it's priorities. I mean, you already got a new headset on, on, um, on a new camera and everything. So, yeah. Love a razor chair, but I do need a pink and a black one. <laughs> Not just a pink and a white. Yeah, I'm not too sure on that. I know they do a pink one. I'm not too sure about if they do like um, pink and black ones or anything like that. You'd probably be able to find out easier. It really isn't puzzling about it nonstop, but hasn't been a good idea. Sadly, they don't. Well, that's a shame. They just do the pink and the white. That's why they came in the first place to confess their sins and beg forgiveness. That's why I want to help them in any way that I can. Uh... Do you have one in my Amazon cart uh, that is black and pink? Yeah. So what did they steal? I think it depends on what they stole. Yeah, we 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 we, we seen one the other day on Amazon. I think I think uh, Halloween wanted that one. It was pink as well. Uh, like cat ears on there and all that kind of stuff. The only the only thing is I'm like it depends because like I'm a, I'm a big guy I I went through a lot of chairs and I mean a lot of game like gaming chairs that cost like a hundred pound a pop and they all broke all of them so this is why I went for the secret labs one it was five hundred pounds so it was <laughs> it was like you know quadruple the cost of a hundred pound chair you know what I mean but. It's a lot more sturdier. It's a lot. It's a, it, can, it can actually, you know, take a big guy's weight if you like. Um, it, it's got a 10, 15 year guarantee or something like that. I can't remember what it was. I think it was 10 years. Um, so you, you get for what what you pay for. That's all I'm gonna say. Same. Uh, I only I only had one. It's never had a breakdown on me. It's a Vita Gear one. It's still pretty nice. Six years. It's still going pretty great. Yeah. I I wouldn't bother with the Facebook Marketplace to be honest with you. I I think it's a scam. I'd I'd rather go for something that I know I can return. That's the thing. Yeah, the market here is horrible. Yeah, yeah. Like I I honestly I think it's a scam. I really do. Like. You know, if I was going to buy something, I, I I prefer Amazon because at least you know you can return it. You know what I mean? You've got protection as well. I live in a nice place that has not so nice people. <laughs> uh, but I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I won't bother with a Facebook route. Plus, to be honest with you, with a Facebook route, you're not saving any money. You, you know, it, 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 you know, like this is why people started using like eBay and Craigslist and stuff like that because you could get a bargain. But nowadays it's like very, very similar pricing to Amazon. Like you might save a, like, you know, a pound or a buck or two here and there. You, yeah, you might. At least eBay's got their buyer kind of protection thing now, but it never used to. But a lot of these things just haven't got like protection for you. So if you're buying it off that, like without kind of protection you you are really taking a risk you you really are yeah you have a lot of people who are addicted to substances and homeless that have issues with sticky fingers or half of the market is stolen here yeah i get exactly what you mean
Oh, hi. This what? This what? Yeah. Where did you ever learn that this woman's listening to confessionals and then she's going out and helping the, pe the people and she's not meant to? She's meant to listen to confessionals and go, yeah, I understand. See you later. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? But she's like, ah, no, I gotta help. I gotta help. Only because I've got to clean up the mess if anything goes away, so we do it. You have my thanks, prefer to go, but it seems like there do have been trouble at the temple. So she will look after her for me. Okay, good intentions pave the road to hell. What a quest line. Good intentions pave the road to hell. Thought about asking anyone in our game if she knows where Claire went. Well, we'll do that in a minute. Let me just do this mission as well. Might as well while I'm here. Hello, Crystal. Thank you for coming. You've just arrived, but, but a lot has been happened. Has happened. Allow me to update you. Okay. Well, why is she looking around for? <laughs> like, what? Huh? What? Is it secret? First the order. Process is being made in suppressing the chaos within a bit slowly. Following that would naturally be a decision to as to who will become the Nord's next leader, but that's not a decision to be made lightly. So what about you, Shrika? I'm not sure, especially since I don't know if we're going to make sure that is what I should do. Anyway, we have the matter of concern in the set of the anti mother, which sadly hasn't improved. If anything, it's gotten worse. It's come to my attention that there are now members of the congregation who has turned to the anti-mother. I couldn't believe my ears when I first heard, but now we've caught one of them, it's hard to feel safe. Why would they? It's actually made me quite curious, but we must be suspicious of members of the order from now on too. Says the Shrieker. I had a panic if something happened. We apprehended a, a priest who was selling the counterfeit Floss and Dolge to the people. Surely not. I wish to speak with them. But you may. Please follow me. Crystal, please join me. Yeah, if you can't trust anyone, how could you trust this guy? Sister Shrieker. I told you were selling counterfeit floss and dodge in the town. Is this true? Yes, it is. Why would you do such a thing? Your actions will only cause favor of evil in the hearts of the people. What on earth are you trying to gain? This is Rika. Do you accept the teachings of the Holy Mother? What kind of question is that? You must be well aware of the situation the order currently finds itself in. Without a picture to represent it, the order is in chaos. Perhaps. However, with the order in the state, this array, the Holy Mother will neither grace or nor deliver us. We're going to harbour doubt. Is it really okay to continue following the Holy Mother's teachings? But seeing the teachings of the Holy Mother first will change nothing. Is it really necessary for her to take a tangible form in order to, to save the order or change our circumstances? Honestly, this prospect of deliverance, what's it all a farce? So you sell, so you sell fake floss and dolger. Exactly. This is why I am collaborating with the sect of the anti mother. Deliver the order from, from its current state without needing to rely on holy mother. You're going on about it all wrong. I don't believe the anti mother's methods are wholly correct, but it's better than do nothing, than allowing the order to drift without purpose. But the floss and dolge is meaningless. But still, who, still those who it brings a sense of peace, even if it isn't real. It's better than nothing. It's true that. It doesn't matter if things are real, fake, or whatever. If people think it sends a message, then they'll follow it. It's the truth. Uh, you realize soon enough, Sister Shrieker. Take him to the cells immediately. So, so basically, he's he's being imprisoned because he has a different message. 
basically that's what I'm getting out of this. <laughs> so basically because he's not like uh for 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 the whatever the mother thing and like he's kind of like against that so like right you can't speak your mind there's no free speech in this country yeah send them to prison <laughs> please forgive me sister shrika whether we allow them to speak too long no it's fine it was me it was i that asked him to speak with him after all Mm, you okay, Shrika? I'm fine. There's no need to worry. However, I couldn't argue his points. Thinking about the order the way that they do. Creating a new religion without the need of the Holy Mother. Deliverance is the form of a false sense of security. Don't completely false his thought process. Still, that doesn't mean we can allow the sect of the anti mother to run rampant as they are now. The products of a leaf continues to spread, will harm relations between the order and its followers. We can handle that together. I agree. More who think like man will continue to service as long as chaos remains within the order. Not a moment to spare, we must revitalize the order. I'll take it from here, Crystal. We'll contact you again if anything happens. Well, faith saves us. Uh, Sister Claire, yeah, I know her. Girl from the confessional, right? Offer her consider it more like a counselor's office than a confessional. Didn't mean anything bad by that. It's a blessing, really, that Gil is always doing her best to help the people of this town, myself included. Have I seen her? Hey, hey, worry not. She's around here somewhere helping someone in need. It's not really what I wanted to know, was it? Just like, <laughs> just like, you know, yeah, just tell me where she is. Rather than all like, yeah, I think she's around here somewhere. This way? Yeah, there she is. Okay. He is. Is from Claire from the confessional? You know, I saw her showing some travel around not too long ago. She really is something that Claire always helping people day after day. She's even come to rescue. She's even come to my rescue once. I was trying to work up the coverage to confess my love for. For cheese, for, for cheese. yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I can't get enough. <laughs> God, it's warm in here. Alright. Cold cloth in a minute, I'm telling you. Yeah, we all love cheese. <laughs> uh, no. Tell me where she is. You're looking for the sister of the temple? Oh, you're the one from the professional. I saw her not long ago, actually. She was heading out of town with some other lady I hadn't seen before. She's probably off on some other mission of repentance again. Ooh. What? What's with that tone? Ha ha ha. Yeah, see, sister's famous around here. Yeah, eh? Which, which way is it? Is it this way? That's oh, this way. I wonder if that girl's not right. Oh, I just saw the girl from the professional leave the town with a woman I hadn't seen before. I didn't mean to eave shops, but I'm pretty sure that they said they were heading to the silent cave. What do you think they're gonna do there? Yeah. Sounds like Clay's gonna sell the case. Okay, try and catch it up. Which one's the silent case? This one, I think. Well, she must have gone through this way. I don't. Oh, there she is.
Wait, that one is dangerous. Okay, we got it, we got it. Well, why are you doing this? <laughs> what is it, Masse? You'll die here regardless. Madam, please. Give it a rest, won't you? No one's coming to save you. Claire, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> famous last words. No one's coming to save you. Claire, are you okay? <laughs> Crystal, what, what is this? Who are you? Nah, no matter. One more person that doesn't really change anything. You can die here together. Boom. Yes. I seen something behind me then, Crit. Crystal, thank you. Just to think what happened. If you hadn't mad when you did. What happened? Can't make heads or tails off it. Reports the thief and asked her for more details regarding the theft. She asked me to follow her here. Why would she want to take my life? I can't really wrap my head around it. Let's catch her and find out. You're right. We should be able to catch up to her. Let's go and get her, Crystal. Well, actually, I've seen something shining on the floor. There. That's it, yeah. There we go. I must have missed that. Uh, okay, where is she then? Oh, okay, she's in here. Boo! <laughs> Finally, found the entrance. How did those two turn out? I wonder. It's a shame I couldn't stick around to witness their demise. Did the monsters eat them whole or did they tear them into bits? Anyway, back to our game. Wait, please. Ah. You're kidding. Why are you still both alive? Crystal saved me. The hell? Those monsters sh should be chewing on your bones right now. Don't underestimate me. Please. Please tell me, why did you try to kill us? After everything you said before about repenting for your sins, was it all a lie? Well, I'm guessing it was. And if you're so desperate to know, there's no point in keeping it a secret anymore. Huh? But I told you about the confessional was the truth. <coughs> I wanted to make amends. Then why? That's all of the trouble you went to tracking me down. Huh? The item I stole. It was the contents of the church donation box. Really wanted that money. But I never remembered all the children that grew up in that church. Then as I realised how they rely on the money, well, I couldn't help but feel feeling completely rotten. So I went to the confessional, figured I'd turn myself in. I remember. I can sense how strongly you regretted what you'd done. But when I met you, I realised. What if I framed it to make it look like you stole that money <laughs> get out no it's this off the temple overcome with guilt takes her own life and shame it's not so unbelievable is it so basically we're gonna frame it uh, bring her down here and kill her and basically you know what i mean like I mean, everyone everyone would have thought that she basically what stole the money and then you know committed suicide or something like that she was guilty damn that's why you targeted Claire. But it was awful now, wasn't it? You felled my monsters and left with nothing up my sleeve. So you're giving yourself up? Yeah, I won't resist. Do whatever you like. To the dungeons. Very well. I'll restrain you and take you back to our game myself. Crystal, I'll be fine on my own. Are you sure about that? Please visit me at the church later. I'll explain everything there. 
I like how she's just like walking with you. Like as soon as you, as soon as that will, oh, as soon as you be on her own, I'll be like, oh, yeah, she's on her own now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's get her. Whoop. Ah, no, no, no. Back to our game, I go. Okay, so it's Temple. Still, I currently in our custody. That's all you could do. Wait, please. You got something else to say to me? Why did you change your mind? You were ready to turn yourself in. What changed? Ah, good question. I guess it's because. A bleeding heart like you made it made an easy target. Couldn't help myself. Enough talk. We've got a cell waiting for you. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. How planet is for for her to use the confessional for such an evil scheme. Maybe time to reconsider your placement at the at the confessional. Okay, Claire. Thank you for worrying about me, Crystal. Mm, but I'm okay, really. But no, you should take some rest fights. That's an order. But I didn't know you worried about me, so. But really, it's fine. I'm surprised by it. Don't get me wrong, but I'm honestly okay. But ever since the confessional now, I have so many people praying for forgiveness after all. She's trying to put on a brave face. I'll force class to take a rest later. But for now, I must express my deepest gratitude. Without you, Claire would likely be no longer with us. Sorry to bear the new favor, but I hope you will continue to stand by her and look after her. To explain this one. With spicy argain sauce. Bite sized chunks of meat with deep fried and served with super spicy pepper sauce. You'll be breathing fire when you eat this, but it's strangely addictive. It sounds nice. Deep fried meat with basically uh, hot sauce. Yeah. See, oh, it's ten past nine. Oh, God. 
We'll do that one in a minute then. Welcome home. No point in doing it now because of the time. <laughs> oh, we got five days to winter time. Can't be bothered pleasing all them to be honest with you. The ball like Hello little crappies. Oh, I just did that. Need to go and get some feeds. Yeah, I need to. I need to go and get some. I mean, I think all these are going to die. Lovelies. How long does this take to? I'm not too sure how long these take to do, but they've been growing for ages. They might, they the might die. Try, uh, what's over here? These, these done? No. Okay. Try the cave biome. Got anything in here? Peppers. How did I just get coffee from? Well, see you later. Which one have I got? Not a lot. Uh, what's this? <laughs> oh yeah, I know where I'm going. Okay, so we need to go to Shitola. Is it the lighthouse? Is there anything else in here? Yeah, and there's a couple of missions as well that we might as well do. We'll do the lighthouse ones first and then we'll come back to do these little starvy ones.
Oh, get your back. The situation with the missing boat. Still hasn't been found. I've been searched all this time and still not found it. There's a high chance he might have already left. She told him waters. Can't just give up yet. What's the light? I'll slay. I'm sure he'll find his way back. Okay, can you get the lighthouse back on? I'll do what I can. Rock is still working on it. Now, please hurry. You, please come with me too. I want a light come back on. Well, I put everything together perfectly. I tried everything. So I really can't do this by myself. Done well making it this far. Dad, you. You almost fixed it perfectly. But there are a few mistakes here and there. Like this man right here. He meant to split this part into two before you connect it. I see something about this bit here too. But right now, our main priority is to get the light back on. I'm going to talk you through it. Just follow my instructions, and the light should start working again. We can give Shatola back their beacon of hope, Rog. I'm going to need your help to do it. Let's do it. That's the life I'll just keep it for you. Nah. Even without me here, I'm sure Rog would have figured it out by himself if he had more time. We just don't have that time right now, that's all. Do me proud. That's enough, man. Dad, what should I do with this part? Hang on, I'm coming. Hey, sorry, could you just give us a hand? Uh, we could use all the help we can we can get. <laughs> Alright, that should do the trick. Light cam back on now. Yeah, it's working. We did it, Rog. Now, will you do the honors and shine to tell us beacon of hope for us again? I hope they find that missing person. Yeah, it'll be fine now, I'm sure of it, as long as that light keeps shining. The rest is up to the fishermen who are out searching for him. But all we can do now is praise all right. Rock Tola. Did you find them? Yes, he's heading in that in this direction. He must have seen the lighthouse. Thank goodness. Thank goodness he's all right. Yeah. Rog, I'd like to talk to you. Will you join me in the tavern? Okay, Dad. Did you come too, Crystal? Stay as long as you want me to. <laughs> Thank you. Let's head to the tavern now. So, Dad, what do you want to tell me? I wanted to say, I'm sorry, Rog. I was too consumed by my own guilt to listen to you before. I didn't do you right as a father. No, you came just in time. But if you hadn't shown up, I might have just ended up living the same painful experience as you did. Feeling the weight of knowing I could have saved someone. Just the, just the thought of it was really scary. I think I understand now the burden that you've been living with. Rock. I don't want you to have to live through something like that. What I said about you taking over the lighthouse. Oh, don't get me wrong. Experience hasn't put me off working. The lighthouse, if anything, it's only motivated me more. It has? Yeah. Because I've realized how much pressure and responsibility you had to take on by doing it all by yourself. I really respect you, Dad. I've looked looked up to you as a kid and I still do now you've always been there lighting up the way for me to me you're my beacon of hope me you don't have to do it by yourself anymore dad I know I'm so young and 
I'm not nearly experienced as you. I'm only an apprentice, but I want to share some of that responsibility with you. A shine of light of hope together, the two of us. Well, me as your teacher, you won't be able to call yourself an apprentice for long. Thank you, Dad. Let's call it a night. Hope you know what you've got yourself into. Okay, I'll make a lighthouse keeper off you before you know it. Can't wait. Yeah, good luck for the future, Rog. Thanks, I'll be the best lighthouse keeper I can be. Don't be strange, okay? Come back to the lighthouse any time. You might as well just get a chance to sit in on one of Rog's training sessions. No way, that's embarrassing. Hope you'll, yeah, hope I'll, you'll see me when I'm already a pro like that. Anyway, I'm really grateful to you. And it's all thanks to you that Dad and I could make up and he came back to the lighthouse. Thank you, Crystal. Yeah, I owe you thanks too. I appreciate all you've done for us. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm glad you two are on good terms now. Yeah, me too. From now on, we're working together. We won't have time for any more arguments. And I won't leave like that again. Now then. I've got my own light shining bright for me too. Crystal, you came. Why there's so many people here? Honestly, I don't know. Everyone needed a break. Oh, hey. Hello, Princess Emma. And you too, Crystal. They need a break from what? I think mean, you already know, but the vigil, the vigil uh, is a festival held to mourn the lives of those that we lost. It's not like any other festival we've had. For the pomp and revelry. But like any festival, it requires a lot of time to prepare, which can weigh down on the human spirits. Everyone look as normal as they do, happy and in high spirits, but deep down they wrestle with, with a great many things. The festival is greatly important to the people here, so a brief is required to ensure its success. That's understandable. I've sung quite a lot today already, but I'll keep going if you. If you think it will help me to, to give everyone here the energy they need, that would be wonderful. It's been some time since I last heard you sing. Yeah, you got this, Emil. So, Emil performs the song for all the patrons of the tavern. It is as beautiful as always. Emil, that was amazing. Feel so spoiled getting to hear you, hear your voice so often in one day. Thank you so much. Now you're busy practicing for the vigil, uh, which makes your performance now even more splendid. Well, now we've heard Emil sing, I suppose it's time to call it a day. I agree, time to head home. We've got enough of full day preparations ahead of us tomorrow. Emil, I'm looking forward to hearing you again at the vigil. An old fishing friend of mine was killed by my monster Lovelei. Please see him off and finally put his soul to rest day. Of course, I will do my best for everyone. Thank you. I don't know what what we do without you here, Emma. She's all there. Would certainly be much of a darker place without you. But with your beautiful songs, we've been able to turn it all around. Oh, what, what, what? No, I didn't do anything. Speaking of which, I've been pondering. Why is it that love light ended up and disappeared there? That's actually a good point. Not to mention the bubbles of lights that used to float off near the sea. Where did those go? Ah, that's not what's important. What if I just got sick of pink picking us off and ran somewhere else? You're probably right. At least uh, the nasty beast. Well, at least the nasty beast out of our hair for now, eh? All I kept us from going out to sea for so long. Stop. It really did. What an awful creature. Creating so much chaos on our doorstep. 
you're wrong. Probably had a wreaking havoc on some poor souls as we speak. Gives me chills thinking about it. Stop, please. Okay, Amel. You've got it all wrong. You weren't being attacked. Everyone was protect everyone was protecting the sea. What are you talking about, Amel? Why does you look so sad? Well, I wasn't evil. He just wanted to protect the sea. What? Hold up, Emil. I know you're a kind soul, but there's no sick. No need to stick up a lava lie. Not what I'm doing. I'm trying to tell you the truth. How can what you say be the truth? Well, I was. Lava lie was important to me. Please don't speak ill of them anymore. I'm not an Emil. It starts to sound like you were lava lie's friend or something. I know that's not what you mean. How would you feel if it if it what if I was their friend? What? Pardon me for intruding. Oh, Crystal, hey. You did your best, Emma. Aye, aye. What's this about, Hain? What do you know? What well, indeed? I think it's the best that we allow Emma to speak for herself. I believe that's just clear up any misconceptions, am I right? Trying to tell me? I almost love a last friend all along. How could that be? Did Emil ever lied to us before? So this is how you're gonna be, is it? Now, how to calm everyone down? Uh I got I got, that's a great reason. I got distracted, walked the dogs, did some housework, but being like well thanks very much for that. I do appreciate it. Alright, enough's enough. The tavern's closed. But bartender, I'm sorry, I'm calling it here. Time for everyone to go home. Now, if you don't mind, let's do as he says. Oh, okay. Back in the back in the back room resting. Today was a lot of her, her to deal with. I suggest you leave her be while she gets her feelings in order. And not just here. I think I'm to put people of Shatola have some reflect to do as well. You can leave it to me from here, Crystal. I'll send you a letter if anything comes up. No, you must be worried about her. There's nothing else we can do for her. Let's go, Crystal. I'm gonna go have to hop off. Got a broadcaster raising. You have a great rest of the stream. Yeah, you too, man. Thanks for thanks for coming in. Uh, I really appreciate it. Yeah, have a have a good have a good broadcast. Crystal, thanks for coming. I'm ready to talk now. I'll tell you all about Fashola, like I promised. Talk somewhere with nice me. will help set the atmosphere. Around here should be fine. Yep, looks good. Fashola used to love the spot. Says she used to come here to ponder new inventions while looking all out over Shitola. What's Fashola like? What was she like? Huh? She was a fellow inventor. I guess the best way to describe our relationship is that we were rivals. She was a weird one. She had a way of drawing you in with her words. You know, it was her who said she'd go to the bottom of the ocean first. And time we're out late in the tavern.
Man, I'm gonna go to the ocean floor. <clears throat> you feeling all right, Flashola? Yeah, it's time to go home. Uh, I'm fine. I'm serious, Han. I decided a few days ago. I was swimming in the sea as usual, and I got curious, and I felt like going a bit deeper. You know, you really worry me with these crazy ideas of yours. <laughs> Don't worry, I found something really cool down there. You did? While I was diving down deeper, I saw a shipwreck. Not just any shipwreck. It was made of, a, of material like nothing we've ever seen on this planet before. Oh, it sounds amazing. I know, right? Why do you sound so uninterested? Because I am uninterested. What? Are you curious to know what this unknown material could mean for our future? Not really. Ah, oh, you have no sense of romanticism. That's why girls don't talk to you, you know. You're so clever as well. It's such a shame. And then that's for love advice, thank you. See no point in having a partner. Even if I had time that kind of spare time, I'd rather put it towards my inventions. If you'll never change, ah oh well. Back to the ship back. It made me it made me show off something. There's still so much we don't know about this world. And if we delve deeper into the sea floor, we're about to find out more. That's why you want to go all of a sudden? Yep. So you saw something down there. So what? Don't talk like you're going to the ocean floor. It's that easy. It's dangerous. If anything happens to you, if anything happened to you all the way down there, no way of knowing. You can make it back out alive. Ah, uh, worried about me. Come on, Shola, it's not worth it. We're gonna go this long without that material. We don't need it now. We've already got all the no purpose to monolite. It's not good enough. Monolites? Yeah, we're not here both Shola. We're inventors. Don't listen to me, Hain. Do you know what I call a world that satisfies with everything as it is? Poisonous world. Huh? People get comfortable, they lose their sense of inquisitiveness and stop moving forward. Oh, and end up being a boring inventor who makes only mundane everyday inventions. I want to push the limits of what people thought were, was ever possible. I know it's dangerous. I'm well aware that I might lose my life at sea, but I'm prepared for that. Even if I die on this quest, I've forged a path for others that will live on after me. Someday, somebody will follow in my footsteps and make it even further than I did. At the very least, if, I sac if, if my sacrifice could renew people's curiosity in that in itself would... Shut up. Don't talk so lightly about giving up your life like that. Aha, uh -huh. you always take things so literally. I like her hair there's blonde, but... Looks like in the game it's green. Not like I'm going in there intending to die. But once you die, that's it. There's no going back after that. Who cares what others do? Ah, you really are stubborn. Inventions won't go far like that. You should open your mind a bit a little bit. My inventions are I know. Why don't you find a partner? Doesn't have to be romantic, a friend would do. I mean, someone to talk to would open up your heart a bit too. Chris, I don't know what you're talking about. So that Shola started making a submarine. Journey to the seabed all by herself. Since then, no one's seen her again, myself included. Oh, does that mean she? Who knows? She could have found the lost town on there and be living her best life. Not knowing her, she's probably still roaming around looking for some new discoveries. That's why I made her submarine. To go and get her. Tell her to come back to Shitolo already. I'm sure you'll find her. Yeah, you're right. I'm sure I will. 
Well, now you know about Foshola. Was that settled your minds? Yeah, thanks for telling me. Good. Shall we head back now? Excuse me. Yeah, now my baby is clean tank. Her food is falling as we speak, and we got it. So we got to have some cuddle time. Nice. Four days to quite us, and then winter hit. Again, something in the law. Oh, what the hell are you doing in here? Hello? How did you get in here? Have you opened up the door for you? The snakes equal the best a pet ever, lol. No matter what box says. I used to have a snake a long time ago. Um, when I was when I was a child. Is that it? I is there a sense? Sense something in a lock? Well, this is the only thing. This has been here for ages. What do you mean? What do you mean? That's weird. Yeah, I, when I was a child, I, 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 uh, I don't think it was like a garter snake. I can't remember a ribbon snake or something like that. But anyway, it's like um, I, I used to love that thing. Uh, and then like one day, uh, it was like come home from school, and I was like went to go feed it and stuff like that, and it was like it wasn't there. So I was like asked my mom, I was like, have you seen the snake? And it was like, ah, oh, oh no, it must have escaped. Anyway, that's what I got told. Years later, when I was an adult, we were we were talking about pets that we used to have, and uh, I my mum actually revealed that I uh, actually know that that the, that the snake had actually attacked her, and she had to obviously like get rid of it. And but obviously because I was a child at the time, it was just like oh no, it escaped. <laughs> the game Bellatrix. <laughs> uh. Hello, little crabbies. I think Quietus is coming soon. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Full snake, Anna. Looks like crabbies. some of the crops are ready for harvest. Oh, just in time. I didn't think they were gonna. I didn't think I was gonna be able to do that. To have fun with <laughs> yeah, you know I'm the best. Yeah, I I love Happy Potter. To be honest with you, like I don't I don't like I said I don't, I've not I've not I've not read it or watched it for years. To be honest with you, obviously, um, I did like uh, the the newer ones as well. Um, so you know it wasn't technically Harry Potter, but, but pretty good. Fantastic Beasts. Let's try and think then what it was called. Right, okay, so we got... <laughs> right, so that's nearly full now. So how much is this? Oh, 
got nothing. Okay. Do we not have anything in here? Okay, I got, I got, I got. Yeah, I have. I have. It's lying to me. Yeah, we get some feed made for them. Saves, saves aim for it, to be honest with you. Right. See you later. Yeah, um, yeah, no, I, 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 I would big time into Harry Potter, hence, and I'll show you this. Uh, let's have a look. Here they are. Hence, I've still got them. <laughs> I've got the original Harry Potter games. I've got, I've got the uh, Philosopher's Stone. I've got um, Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> I've got Prisoner of Azkaban. And I've even got the spin off uh, the Quidditch World Cup. And I have got all the other ones as well that came out, but a lot of them didn't come out on PC. Um, a, lot, a lot of them went straight to like PlayStation and stuff like that. But they're the original ones that came out years ago. Obviously, I don't have a. I, 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 I could play them now. Um, and I. I Obviously, um, I am I'm planning on like maybe doing like uh, more retro games because, yeah. However, if you, uh, I am one of the few that have the Philosopher's Stone Blu-ray in the US XD. Uh, lol, I do not know where the hell they call it the Sorcerer's Stone here. Yeah, it did change. I, I don't know why they changed the name. I think it was something like they didn't know. I think I think at the time when he was doing it, I think what I read was like that. Um, it would go over a bit better if it was the Sorcerer's Stone and not the Philosopher's Stone. Like... <laughs> like, what? Okay, whatever. Why am I not moving? Yeah, I, I, I think they do that a lot of times, don't they? They change the name. It's like, uh, obviously, over the, over there, you have the Sega Genesis. Where over here, we have the Sega Mega Drive. It's the same console. Oh. But they ch again, they changed it for whatever reason. Why is my pad? Ah, there we go. There we go. So yeah, they, they, you know, they, they, yeah, yeah. Did you not know that? Yeah, we never used to call it the Genesis over here. We used to call it the Mega Drive. But so they, they changed the name for whatever reason. Like they, I think they presumed that it was either maybe something over there was called the Mega Drive or something the Mega Mega Drive, not the Mega Draft, the Mega Drive. D R I V E. Uh, hey Shizzle, sorry I didn't see you. Morning, dude. How's the stream going? <laughs> well, morning for you, maybe. Oh, what the world, yeah. So the so the, the, there's a few there ain't a few name changes over there where we get um obviously because we're technically kind of European, aren't we? Over here, even though we're technically a different country, we get a lot of the things that's like the like uh the European names, if you like. So I actually think it was named uh, the Mega Drive in the, in the Germany first, and we were going to take the Genesis name, uh, but we actually got the European naming of it because people because we had a rock band called Genesis uh, with Phil Collins in it. So they thought, well, we can't, we're not going to name it that then, are we? Because we're just going to get confused. So, <laughs> so yeah, there you go. So I think that's the that that's the kind of the thinking of it. They look in the countries and they go, oh. We can't really call it that because, you know, people might get confused. Uh, it's AM. No, my dude, just seeing that the last few hours. Yeah, I know it's AM. <laughs> One four, it's 1.41, I know, I know, I know. Uh, to me, to me, mate, I, I, I'm just like, I'm like now, like, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like... I'm like lively with loads of energy, but then again, I've been, I was asleep all, I mean, all day. I got up at seven, I got up at 7 a.m. And then I went straight back to bed and I didn't get up till half five in the afternoon. Like, honestly, no, I've, do you know, what? I've not had any caffeine as well. I'm honestly nothing. 
Like, it's just like I'm awake now. What the hell's that? Ooh, I forgot about... Oh, I didn't realize this place. What's that? If anyone around, was I too late? I saw it by searching the perimeter for any villages. Rocker. Yeah, I had one. I had one coffee at five when I woke up. Like I'm like basically a morning coffee. <laughs> I had an album up there, so you know, like 15 years ago. But lol, I do. Rem I don't remember which one. Yeah, yeah. I got to bed at six uh, this morning, and I was awake at 12. Uh, yeah. I should I should have set an alarm to be honest with you. Are we in a week sense. Um, yeah, I had to like lead weights. Yeah. I mean, I must have just needed it. I've been like that for like the last week or two. I've just been like not really had a lot of energy in the daytime. So my coffee made me sick. It is Irish cream, of course. That damn leprechauns could be mess messing me up. Well, it's probably not Irish cream. That's the thing. They probably just call it Irish cream. You know what I mean? Yeah, found the map at your hideout. <laughs> no, it's not a <laughs> lot. That's what I get for leaving it out. Want to be the hero, have you? Well, I was throwing my life away. I don't even know why they uh, name some of the shit the, the way they do it. I don't know, even to be honest with you. I don't know. It's literally a renamed sweet cream. Yeah. Uh go on to listen. It thought hey, so I'm making a market by the entrance. Who are you two? What are you doing here? We come to kill everyone. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever heard of uh, Amadeus? Amadeus, Amadeus. Ooh, Amadeus. <laughs> uh, <I'm a> <laughs> uh, 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 I swear to God, man. Not with it. I'm telling you, Mystique. I'm not, I'm not with it today. I'm telling you. I'm out of it. Don't just throw that name around like it's nothing. He'll run away if he finds out. I'm a Deus. Ooh. I'm a Deus. Don't tell me you two friends of old Professor Amadeus. What? Professor Amadeus? I'm sorry to disappoint you, though. Yeah, the professor is. Where is he? Tell me now. Um. Well, if you go further in, you'll. Hold up a minute. What's with that guy? I remember that song. Didn't it get to the one of the chart? I, I do remember it as being a song, but I can't remember who sung it. I don't know whether it was on a TV series or a comedy series. I do remember Amadeus, Amadeus. Ooh, Amadeus. I do remember that. That's what came to me then when I was reading it. I was thinking, Amadeus, uh, that rings a bell. But I don't know if it was actually an actual song or if it was like some kind of TV series or comedy series or something like that. I, I honestly haven't got a clue. I'd, I'd have to like sing it on, online just to see if it, because obviously it would pick it up and it would not so far me up what, what the hell it was. But yeah, I don't know. I'm going to clue. It was, it was uh, by someone called Falco. Oh. Yeah, he's been going through some stuff. <laughs> Yeah. Right, sure. Never heard of them. Oh, he's dead. There you go. Yeah, there's your professor. He's dead. Don't tell me how my day this is. Yeah. What happened to him? Why is he here? Where is Amadeus? Did he leave already? Amadeus is dead. Who's there? I killed him. That grave marker is proof. The song was called Rock Me Amadeus. Ah, yeah, you learn something new every day. That's right. My name is Moldor. I like that. I am Moldor. My name is Moldor. Like you, I was a man hunting the hollow for revenge. Showing my age, lol. 
And I, well, that, I, I knew off the song, so what does that say about me? <laughs> I just couldn't remember who the hell it was. I remember, I do remember it. Like I said, that's why I sang it. Um, but I can't remember how I remember it. I don't know. It might have been off like watching Top of the Pops or something like that back in the day. Maybe. Or like I said, it went, maybe it was on some kind of TV show or something like that. I don't know. So you. Well, how? Do you have a weapon like my holy rifle? I was 10 when it came out. Okay. Holy rifle. Don't know. I refuse to believe that. Doesn't matter. Amadeus is dead. It's not enough. Unless you're Amadeus, my old door. You know what I mean? Hiding behind your cape. Sorry for snatching your prey. But my work here is done. You're not going to say anything? Like, yeah, stop. <laughs> Take off your cloak. So that's it, my revenge is. Oh, where are you going? Back to Arcane. You can do whatever you like. Okay, Mr. Moody. Well, what else we got up? It's just got it's just these, isn't it? Heaven's egg. Uh, back at the orphanage. Back at leave. Okay, we'll, we'll go to the leave one because it's just here. Doing quite a lot of these done, to be honest with you tonight. Like I said, I want to try and finish all these off before I do the main mission, just so I can say I've done them. Also, it gives me loads of buffs as well, so it will help. Hey. Hey. Hey yourself. Getting in my way. Chris, you have a minute. Ah, oh, Crystal. When did you get here? I don't remember sending a letter. Uh didn't ask me to stop by. Oh, is that why? Just been looking through my parents' research and yawn. Have you slept at all? Can't sneak anything past you, can I, Crystal? I think it's been a few days since I got any sleep. But I'm racing against the clock here. You know that, right? Spent all this time reading through the research my parents left me. And I haven't found a single thing. I can't find anything. Maybe because you're not, like, focused? Get some sleep? <laughs> oh. There's the emote in Fortnite, lol. Get out of your mind. It reminds me of Tom Hiddleston's Umbrella Lip Sync Battle Dance. <laughs> that's, that's so random, Misty. Uh, do you mind taking, if I take a look? Sure, why not? I'm not having much luck on my own. Watch us find it within two seconds. Let me hang, Crystal. Why not efforts? We should be able to read from every shred of research in the clinic. 20 hours later. <laughs> Lol, I opened for and I uh, was changing my emotes and there it was. Nice. Help press. Then, then again, there's a lot of emotes that like, you know, um, like hark back into, in, into our like past and nostalgia and stuff like that. They, they have a lot of stuff. Remember, uh, I remember a couple of years ago when they had the Carlton dance, uh, and the Carlton actually tried to sue them, <laughs> claiming that he owned the dance. <laughs> like, what? No, you don't, dude. <laughs> uh, uh, it was Tom Holland. Yeah, that's who I meant. Spider Man. Yeah, it's Spider Man. That's who it was. <laughs> I'm tired. Uh, uh, do you know what? I wouldn't have known. Sing coffee and lots of it. Help press read through every... If I have a coffee now, I'll probably make me more tired. It really would. 
So neither of us would have found a single thing, huh? It does turn that, yeah, it's Loki. Yeah, that's, that is correct. Not like I expected to find anything. I, I, I wish there was like another, uh, like Loki film. I actually really like the Loki films. Um, well, I like them as Loki. I didn't really like the kind of like, um, the Marvel series. Like, I, I thought it was a bit weird. But it was, it was all right. You just make myself a comfortable. Uh, yeah, just make myself a coffee. Don't normally drink them. I only, I only have a, I honestly, I have a, I have, I used to drink coffee on a, on like, like, like all day. Like, to be honest with you. But now I, I, I try, I have tried to cut down. I try to just like drink, I drink one usually when I, when I get up in the morning. And then usually at night before I go to, before I go to bed because I can't sleep without a coffee. It's weird. Doctor Zayas song by Darkness was on Simpson. Yeah, so that was right. So yeah, the Doctor Zayas song where you're technically correct on the Simpsons was was the um, Planet of the Apes one. They, they, they did like um, a, a special on planets of the eight and um, yeah they did like the doctor say song because doctor says was a doc doctor in planet of the apes and they did like a little musical but that's not why that's not why uh, sang was it wasn't doctor says was it I don't know, I can't even remember now. Yeah, I was singing Amadeus, not Dr. Zayas. Oh, I was like, yeah, what, well, what? Yeah, but yeah, I remember that one. Uh, yeah, it was building up to the multiverse saga, but I think they scrapped it now as the guy got fired for being a naughty boy. Oh, didn't know that. I don't really keep a track of these things. Like, I've I've watched everything that's on Disney Plus. Like some of it's okay, some of it's a bit meh. You know what I mean? But obviously they did that many movies. They put they pumped them out, didn't they? Year after year after year. Like what else could they do? Like it was like, well, we want to do more movies, but now you're gonna have to wait two, three years. So we're gonna just do these like mini series to keep you, yeah, you know, like keep you kind of like oh in the loop of what's happening in the marvel universe like so like i said some of it was like it's it's all right i wouldn't say it was like mind-blowing uh content but it's like it's all right and then some of it is like what the hell was that that was that was a bit you know yeah it did get a bit boring not gonna watch star wars again uh what with what they're doing with it now well i what i mean again that's i think that's another franchise that declined in it because they pumped out so much they pumped out so many movies when disney took over to it like i like it gets a lot of slack the new movies they're all right they're not bad like they're all right that i mean but they kind of just repeated the same stories as the first ones except they just like gender swapped it that literally that's what they did so like and so and again it is whatever that you know they want to do that they do that like the movies weren't actually bad they weren't great though but like i said they just they just they can they were just kind of like like the the first ones that we had all them years ago just like i said it was just like rather than a guy it was a girl <laughs> so it was like eh, it's all right um i did watch the acolyte the other day it, it, again, it was it, something completely different from the Star Wars universe and a completely different story. And again, it was all right. It wasn't, it wasn't bad. You know what I mean? Um, but again, it wasn't like anything like outstanding. The last episode was actually pretty good. Um, if anyone watched it, the last episode was actually pretty good. But other than that, it was kind of like, eh, it's a bit boring.
crystal did you find something like i i now there was rumors that they were going to do um kind of like its own own thing and like i i i actually wished that i did more about the sif to be honest with you i think there's a lot there's a lot they could tell about us like because you know we don't still don't know like we know bits about the sith what like you know if you've read any of the books and stuff like that but not a lot of people have read the books a lot of people just watch the movies and watch the tv series and stuff like that why don't they do something about the sith like i think a lot of people would be interested in that it's something new it's something fresh it's something to do with star wars but yet it's on the evil side do you know what I mean? What you perceive as evil, because like the, the you know what I mean. Like a lot, a lot of people say that the Jedi are evil. So like it depends on which, which you know how you look at it. I think, but I I, I wish they'd actually do something like that. Uh, they are bringing out a film that's set fifteen thousand years in the past. Fifteen thousand years in the past. That's all about to do out how, how the Force came to be. Yeah, I read something about that. Oh, like that might be interesting because it, like I said, it's like a prequel to a prequel, isn't it? It's like the first ever prequel. Is it? It's just how how well it's put. It does. This is the diary, isn't it? Must have got mixed up with the rest of the research. But this isn't that time for light reading. We're gonna find some clues. Shouldn't we look at least? Yeah, it might be in the diary. Might make sense. See yourself. I could do with a break anyway. Oh my god! I found it. Looks like she's asleep there, reading the book. I started writing this before Dim and I were born. Just a little known diary. Any clues inside? I'm afraid not. Looks like they were pretty digital, Dim. We're keeping our work and personal life separate. Wait. Did you find something? I started about writing about my mum's quiet diagnosis on this page. It's a typical diary and she start you notably thin out from here this is what i've been looking for i think they've been writing this thing after my mum fell ill oh wait a second my mum requested a change in her medication and they're also doing a new trilogy with daisy ridley that's how i think yeah i yeah again i don't know if they will because of the like I said the uh, the last three movies, like I said, they weren't bad, but they weren't. They, were, they didn't do great at the box office. They did. They, they didn't make money, did they? That's the thing. So I don't know if they're gonna go that route. I think it was on the cards, but I don't know. Is it like a lot of things on on Marvel as well? Uh, with the last couple of movies, they didn't do great. They didn't. They weren't. But like again, they weren't like bad. I've watched. I watched all of them. They weren't generally that bad. They were okay. They weren't like amazingly great. You know what I mean? But again, they didn't do good in the cinemas. They didn't make enough money. And that's the thing. If they don't make money, then they'll just like, oh, well, that didn't work. Let's go do this. Let's let's do that. You know what I mean? Like She-Hulk, for instance. God, that was bad. I was like, <laughs> like they're never going to do anything like that again. I'll tell you that right now. And if they do, I'll be, be shocked. I'll be shocked. Because it was bad. I went from searching the girls and seeking relief for her symptoms. Uh, what does that mean? <clears throat> His dad never gave up on the research, but that's not the important part. What did he mean by belief? I've never heard anything like it. Did they just stop looking for a cure? A doctor is supposed to save lives. They already announced the first one. It's called the New Jedi Order. Nice. There's no way. Well, that's what he did. You're right, but why? Try reading it to the end. I've read it in co to, to completion and I couldn't find any mention as to why. The final page was written on the day my mum passed away. Never forget that day. Mum softly put a hand on mine and my brother's cheeks. She said that she'd been in so much pain but she was calm, like she was pretending nothing was wrong. Wait, is that why he did it? Do you remember something? Hmm. 
He probably wanted Mum's final days to be peaceful. To keep Dim and I from being sad. You spend your life fighting against the pain until your dying breath. Do you find a way to forget that pain and face your final moment in peace? Which is better, I wonder. Well, it's nothing more painful than dying. That's true. It's all over once you've gone. There's something I need to do. Crystal? I'm going to go speak with the patient's family. Should I go with you? It's my duty as a doctor. There's something I have to do myself. I'll contact you if there's any developments. Well, I think that's the best way, isn't it? I think, I think on this game, like, um, so basically they come to the conclusion that they can't, they can't basically, there's no, there's no remedy. So you might as well put them at ease. You might, you might as well take the pain away from them so they can, you know, they can live their final moments in, in, in peace. I see some time before I find anything, so please be patient. Oh, what's that? Renewed fire up. Uh, go to Namia, go to Heaven's Egg. Okay. We, we're doing, but you know what? We're doing pretty good on these little side missions. We'll be on two o'clock. These are reds. Excuse me. Right, I think I'm gonna call that a day. Actually, let me see. Let me save it. Let me. Let me. Oh, do that. That'd be stupid. Let me. Let me sleep, and then it saves. I nearly, I nearly did that. Yeah, now we'll do it. Now we can quit. <clears throat> so, yeah, before we go, uh, just quickly put up my schedule again. So, so you guys remember uh what's going to be going on so that was our jrpg night uh monday we're gonna be well it's tuesday now but obviously later on so we're going to be doing a horror night later on at 10 uh, at 10 p.m and then wednesday we're doing an action adventure night thursday we're doing going back to our co-op multiplayer nights uh friday back to our jpg a jrpg which is probably going to be what what we've just been playing there so we can finish it off uh saturday we're gonna have a comfy cozy night so something like palliab or whatever we choose uh, and then 28 uh which is going to be the sunday is a family friendly game night which again might might be enough for co-op multiplayer night we're not not too sure exactly what that's going to be uh, it, it could be something or whatever but 
that's what we're going to be. So tomorrow, uh, yeah, stay tuned and uh, come back around then. And we're going to watch Chrono get horrified by some horror game that we're going to choose randomly. <laughs> like, I don't even know what I'm going to play yet, but it, it'll be good. It'll be good. And it's a nice break as well from uh, what we've been doing recently. I, I like how I've actually, like, scheduled this kind of, like, a little bit more professionally. Um, they're all set at 10 o'clock now. And... Uh, and it gives you an idea the idea of this schedule is like i said if we can keep to it uh that like for instance like on a tuesday you would know every tuesday it's going to be a horror night so if that's your preferred genre of games you can come in and just watch that um or if you like all of the content you can you know you can come in at any time that's the idea around about it so hopefully you can generate a few more people coming in as well because uh, we obviously want to grow on this channel uh, obviously we're just going over the 200 mark so we want to kind of kick on and try and get up to the 300 mark now and i think having a schedule like this might actually help uh so we can like i said like each and every single night we've got something different and obviously me saying i'm a frighty game streamer then that would actually would be a bit better uh, now obviously i've posted this on 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 twitter and uh facebook and all that kind of stuff as well so people should know going forward what's going to happen uh, and I think on the day when I've actually chosen the game, I might then like tweet it out. Actually, this is what we're going to be playing. But yeah. But anyway. Uh, thank you very much for being here tonight. I, I'm going to end it. I'm not going to read out tonight. I read out every night, to be honest with you. Um, and tonight, I'm just going to, I'm just going to give it a rest. Uh, and yeah, see and i'll see you tomorrow so yeah uh i'll see you tomorrow again at 10 p.m uk time uh for hover game so yeah hopefully you're gonna enjoy that and if you can and if you would we're trying to grow over on uh youtube as well it's chrono pixel gaming at youtube.com go over there give us a subscribe uh we'd really appreciate that we, we are trying to grow over there and trying to get monetized over on there as well so yeah thank you very much guys and i'll see you again tomorrow bye